Hey, hey. Yep, Starfield comes out tomorrow at nine, I think. Let me double check. Five, no, eight. Eight EST, Starfield comes out tomorrow. I won't be playing it till closer to 10 because I got basketball. Thanks, Aiden. Hope you have a good night. And thanks, Roman. Talk about the new Nair video, but on the front. You talking about the uh, Nair butthole video? Or the Nair butthole uploader just releasing the new one about how to shave your pubes? Yeah. Welcome aboard, Elia. <clears throat> Doing alright, Mint. Hope you had a good day. The first is Friday. No, it's the 31st. Yeah, August 31st. August 31st. 8 p.m., which is tomorrow. Thanks for the tin, mate. Thanks, Jacob. Welcome aboard, mean. And welcome aboard. Thanks for the five. Hey, yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a minute, Vinny. I'm also going to get an early apology out of the way. My air conditioning is broke for the fourth time in the last month. It is currently 81. So, you're going to see some grease. You're going to see a lot of grease on me, and there's nothing I can do about it. Did you hear that Steve Harvey's wife cheated on him with his bodyguard? Oof. And no, I did not. Didn't hear that. The hurricane missed us. Hey, Point Crow. Hope you're doing well. It's been a while. And yeah, I've been enjoying it. Welcome aboard, Kells. I don't know what any of that's about, Jay, but I can look into it later. When is the machine going to work? The machine works now, but if you're talking about when it's going to be available like to play for members, hopefully pretty soon, we're talking to the guy that can set that up. So it just depends on his schedule, when he can get to it. I did not see that video, Duck. How can I become a member? I'm not sure. I think it's somewhere under the stream. It says join. Did I pre-order Starfield? I did not. Welcome aboard, Noobly. They're not going to run out of digital Starfield copies, so I'm not going to bother. Did you hear about the guy who cried on Twitter that they couldn't land on a gas giant in Starfield? Yeah, I saw a lot of that. Welcome aboard, founder. I'm not sure yet, Elia, if we're going to restock that one or not. And that's sweet. Thanks, Schnazzy. You can't play tomorrow without premium edition? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just get the premium edition. I just haven't pre-ordered it. They're not going to run out of it. It's digital. Yeah, the hurricane completely missed us for the most part. It was mainly just some rain. Looking to buy a house in Florida. What's your opinion on a good city slash town to look into? Anywhere but Miami and Orlando. Anywhere that's not Miami and Orlando and you'll get pretty good value. 
those two places are legitimately scams to live. Thanks, Zuxi. Thanks, you. Yeah, I saw that, mate. We talked about that clip a while ago. Gas giants actually have a rocky core, just an abundance of gaseous material, gaseous matter on top. Technically, you could land on one, but the surface would be dark. I'll take your word for it, man. Tell Todd Howard. Maybe they can patch that in. Welcome aboard, silly guy. And thanks, Hyperion. And welcome, Andy and Shroom. How do you feel about what happened with the guard? Oh, I haven't talked about that yet. I didn't stream yesterday. Here, let me bring that up. Because this is sub below knee. There's a few things I want to talk about tonight. This definitely is one of them. Welcome aboard, Tar. Thanks, Lazarus. Appreciate the tin maze. Do I go digital exclusively? For the most part, yeah. Even though I think there's a lot of value in physical media, considering oftentimes now you don't actually own anything digitally, and they can just take it away at any point. I'm not sure where it is, Pulse, but it should be somewhere, like, on the screen. Thanks, Jacoby. They did say people might not be able to upgrade their pre-order to Digital Premium Edition. Don't know if that applies if you just straight up buy Premium Edition tomorrow. Okay, you know what? How about we just make this easy? I'll just buy it now. That way we don't even have to worry about it, because now you guys are scaring me with all this mumbo-jumbo. So I'll just, I'll, I'll just quickly purchase it right now. Thanks, Gigi. Give me two seconds. Wow, the premium edition is a hundred dollars. I, I, what, what happened to it being like eighty? Okay, whatever. That's, <laughs> that's modern gaming at work, I guess. Shame on me. Wow. Okay. You should never drink water. Most most of all... Oh, most if not all people consumed water at one point in their lives are dead. Good point. Yeah, we talked about the Australian death cap mushroom poisoning. Welcome aboard, Mr. Hamster. Oh yeah, I saw David Fincher's new trailer dropped. I'm cautiously optimistic for live-action One Piece. I'm not going to binge it all in one day, but I am optimistic. And thanks, Jerry. Yeah, we can start with this topic. This is something that is uh, alarming, to say the least. This is also not the first time this has happened. So... This is Senator Mitch McConnell. We're not we're not getting into the weeds of politics because you don't need to to see why this is a problem here. What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh. That's right. So he's buffering right now. He's blue screened in his brain. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yeah. yeah. All right, I'm sorry, you all, we're going to need a minute. You can see the problem. Yep. It's fucking tragic. A lot of people said this, and I agree. This is, at this point, literally elder abuse. This guy is senile. And yet he is still in a position to lead us. There has got to be an age cap. There has got to be. The man is actually lagging IRL. He is far too old for this shit. Huh. OK. 
Okay. Thank you, Senator. Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. I love that statement from her as if that was the problem. They just didn't say it loud enough. It, listen, listen, swine. Next time you ask a question, can you please shout it through a megaphone? Clearly, that's what went awry here. Welcome aboard, Dank and Waffle. Oh, and thanks for that, Chop. Yeah, the hurricane missed us for the most part. Brian Johnson, the billionaire trying to live forever. What are your thoughts? I think it's interesting. I mean, let, let him try. I'm curious to see what his research will conclude with. Welcome aboard, Gabriel. Maybe he finds some crazy shit. Have you seen the prices of some of your limited edition comics on eBay? It's insane. No, I haven't checked on those, actually. The reselling scalping market? Oof. I'll check in a minute. When he freezes up, it looks like he just ate a sour candy and is puckering his lips. I mean, I guess, man. It's... He is too fucking old to be leading. It's ridiculous. And all of the evil parasites surrounding him just keep propping him up. It's basically weakened at Bernie's at this point. It's, it's fucking embarrassing. And it, they keep going, too. She has him continue to stand there and take questions while being lobotomized. Welcome aboard, Joji and Lunative. Senator Daniel Cameron, uh, do you have a comment on Daniel Cameron? Well, I think his administration is going to be very close. Far and away the best candidate we could have nominated. And uh, the state has become increasingly Republican. In fact, the government is the only Democrat left. Honestly. So I'm optimistic that Daniel will be our next governor. Yeah, so this is not the first time the, the freezing has happened here with, with this senator. I'm guessing everywhere he goes, they bring a necromancer to keep him alive, to keep some kind of pulse there. Because it is ghoulish. He is too fucking old. It, it's, a jo it's a joke at this point. And yeah, Anthony, car chases are pretty wacky. Well, some of them. Some of them can be wacky. Welcome aboard, Spencer, Hot Rod, Plexi, and Justin. No, there hasn't been a new, like, not... There hasn't been a new car chase that isn't fucking dangerous or leads to a big disaster. There hasn't been a silly car chase in a little while. Welcome aboard, Adam. Prototype AI senator stuff. D brother, AI wouldn't have this kind of hiccup. <laughs> they, they, this is... This is far far worse and thanks ryan welcome aboard rotten he was born in 1942 jesus can do one more senator what is your reaction on trump's latest indictment would you support him as a nominee it's a question about trump <laughs> yeah, i'm not going to comment about the presidential race Either on the Republican side or the Democrat side. <laughs> okay, thank you all. Okay. All right. Is this a ventriloquism Sorry. act? I can't see your other arm. Is it up his ass? Oh, there it is. God, it's just sad. And he's doing the poop pants waddle. Like, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't compute. It doesn't add up. Just like latching on to power like well into your senile geriatric years it's a, it's a criminal criminal but damn it if it doesn't make for some wacky clips welcome aboard jared and yeah i'm gonna be watching one piece tomorrow i won't binge the entire thing tomorrow but i will be watching at least a few episodes an armored core has been great so far I've only streamed it once, but I've been playing it off stream a bit. Welcome aboard, Weeb. Mm. 
I think it's in, in Welcome Aboard Ghost Girl. But Charlie, the warp drives. True. We didn't even stop to consider warp drives and their role in this situation. Agreed, Robert. Thanks, man. Not because he's old, it's a glitch in the Matrix. Maybe you're right. <clears throat> the simulation's crumbling. You see the mountain climbers on K2 stepping over a dying Sherpa for three hours? That... That sounds infuriating. Welcome aboard Hugh and Brina. And hi, Lila. Welcome aboard Carson. And task force. I'm still on Thriller Bark. Almost done with Thriller Bark, though. My grandmother was born in 1923 and is more competent. Hey, hats off to Grandmammy over there, then. I don't think she's 18. Isn't he dating a 20-year-old? I don't know. I haven't kept up with the, the lore. Welcome aboard, Zuro. Thanks for that, Lexi. Welcome aboard, Milky. Has there been an improvement since you started using the blue light filtering glasses? I thought about getting a pair. Uh, take this with a grain of salt, but every night I've worn them, I have been able to fall asleep pretty quickly, but I don't know if I can attribute that to the glasses or if it's just me, like, exhaustion finally catching up. I don't know. But yeah, every night I've put these spectacles on, I have been able to fall asleep a bit easier. But that could just be correlation, not causation. Yeah, I haven't finished JoJo's Part 6 yet. I will, though. I like JoJo's. <laughs> Contrary to what anime Twitter will have you believe, I actually do like JoJo's. I just didn't like Parts 3 and 4 <laughs> that much. Is what it is. Heard about the Florida Skunk Man? Yeah, of course. And welcome aboard, Jacob. Welcome, Mr. Spy. Thanks, Lila. Yeah, we can talk about the guard briefly. And I'm sure if any of you keep up with esports at all, you probably saw this yesterday. The guard made it to... They made it through Ascension. They made it to the VCT. Everything was looking the up and up. It's basically the biggest possible stage for Valorant and one of the biggest stages in esports, really. And it was announced yesterday that the guard decided not to sign the agreement with Riot. So Riot Games... Put the kibosh on the entire org. So now all the players that won everything to get the promotion get fucked in the face. And the guard as an org is basically just in the dirt. So everyone's very upset at not only the guard but Riot for their decision. Saying that this is not fair to the players. They should have allowed the players to get bought by another org. Riot was saying this sets a dangerous precedent where you could just buy five... Uh, uh, you could buy a VCT slot with five players and a coach as soon as they make it. This and that, which is a bunch of baloney. And the whole thing's just been a mess. But by far, the biggest scumbags here, I would say, are the Guard. The Guard is backed by a multi-fucking billionaire. And for some reason, they refuse to even just do the bare minimum in the space. Yes, esports bleeds money forever, but you know who can bleed money more than anyone else? A goddamn billionaire. So the whole thing was just really sad for all the players. And this is a team that Moist Moguls have directly played against. We've had a lot of success against. They beat us as well in the most recent tournament. We have a lot of respect for this squad. And to see them not make it to Ascension after earning their space is just so infuriating. But not only that, not only is the guard and their players not getting the spot. Well, the guard is... they're, they're dead. But not only are the players not getting the spot they earned, 
nobody's getting the spot. So the runner-up, M80, is also not getting the spot. It's just, the whole thing is so ridiculous. And it really makes it hard to believe in Riot's vision for the VCT. Welcome aboard, Lola. And no, I haven't seen the new Five Nights at Freddy's trailer. Thanks, Drake. And I don't know who that is, Colin. Starfield Metascore prediction? <sighs> Shit. I am going to guess the game's going to be very buggy on launch, so I'm going to shoot a little low. I think first week Metascore Starfield, 85. I think a lot of publications are going to be too afraid to give it a low score if it's not good. So I'm thinking it's going to land right in the middle of an 85. Thanks for the 20 pile. Welcome aboard, Toby. Goth for sure, Eric. Doom 2016 is an incredible game. Doom Eternal's an also incredible game. I have no idea, Pyle. <laughs> it, geriatric? Like, do you mean just in a home? Or, like, legitimately senile? Thanks, Hyperion. Top three least favorite AAA game companies. Ooh. You're gonna have to give me a minute to think. There's obviously some, like, big names you can throw out, but there's a couple of small ones that make nothing but bad games as well, and I'd have to weigh what's worse. But I think easy, slam dunk, two that would be on there for me, are 343 and Activision Blizzard, for sure. I don't know who would take the third spot, though. Maybe Bungie. I'd say probably Bungie would be three. Thanks, Trent. My day's been alright. Hope you had a good day. I appreciate it, Spencer. In dark. EA. EA is extremely greedy with a lot of what they do, but they do at least publish some good games. Bungie has one game right now that they've run into the ground. Activision Blizzard, every game they publish, they run into the fucking ground. And 343 has not been able to make a good Halo. They're finally turning it around a little bit with Infinite, but it's so late into the game. At the very least, EA does sometimes put out good games. Those three I listed have not put out anything good in a while. Or if they did, they ruined it. I'd actually probably put Ubisoft at four, and then maybe EA at like f five ish. I'll go board stinky. We're just talking about quality of the games, not the actual companies themselves. At least that's how I interpreted the question. Now nah, I won't do a beef testosterone playthrough in Starfield. I am going to do like a big ol' asshole playthrough. Everything Renegade. But it won't be beef. No beefy tea, I don't think. And definitely not doing that, Kian. Can you watch the new Five Nights at Freddy's trailer? Yeah, I'll give it a, give it a whirl. And I'm not in the Killer Bean game. But I am excited for it. Hey, Duncan. Welcome aboard, man. There was a crash in Alabama. Like, today? There was a big crash? Charlie, what did you get in the corner of your room to replace the G Fuel refrigerator? Are your eyes closed? What, <laughs> what do you mean, what did I get to replace it? You don't see the the big claw machine? <laughs> it's a it just it's yeah I replaced it with a a big claw machine, which eventually will work with stream. It's just going to take a little bit of time to set that up so that way members can play it and win prizes that I'll send to you.
Oh, no worries at all, Dragonfly. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the 25. And welcome aboard, Skylar and Owl. Yeah, GamerSups has been great. They really have. You hear about the Australian woman who had a living worm pulled out of her ear? Yeah, it was in her brain, right? I did hear about that. A live three-inch parasitic worm found in woman's brain during surgery. Give you a little something to be scared of going forward. Because, of course, there's not enough of that. All of these require me to turn off my ad block. I'm not doing it. Here. Oof. Welcome aboard, Mortis in TZK. Thanks for the five members, Snail. What was he charged for, Hawk? What, what were the crimes? How? I actually didn't look into it because it's going to scare me. So I'm not going to look into it. Otherwise, I won't be able to sleep peacefully ever again. So, I don't know how. I'm going to assume it's a freak thing that's not easy to have happen. That's super sweet, Dragonfly. I really appreciate the generosity. Thank you for that. I don't know about that growth. That's up to them, not me. Thanks at 5 Dakota. No, nothing came from it, Hoots. We read the script, but didn't actually make it. Welcome board Glum and Quab. What flavor of gamer sup would you have if you could have your own? We're working on it. We're brainstorming. We're taste testing a bunch of different things to find the optimal blend. Have you chosen a commander deck yet? No, I'm still trying to learn commander. I do want to do a, uh, probably a Sauron deck, I would say. I was watching a little of that in the commander format, and it looks fun. And yeah, Alec, that shit is awful. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been seeing it. It's very weird. You see the recent Super Mario 64 world record speedrun using a drum set as controller. His name is CZR. I know the Super Mario runs with drum sets, but I didn't know he just got the record. The 16 star drum percent world record. This isn't the most recent one though, this is still six months old. Are you sure it got beat? Because I do love this category. Oh yeah, it did just get beat. You're right. Oh, he even did it live. In front of a crowd. But yeah, it's a fun category. Welcome aboard, TJ. I was doing well. I think they're interesting, Stinky. It, it could be something big. Welcome aboard, Bran. And Shaw. Not sure yet, the Ash. Maybe. Will you stream the whole game? Starfield? Yes. I will. Welcome aboard, Taylor. I feel like I'm the only one that's going to do, like, legitimately all of the bad decisions. I want to see how far you can push it. Like, in the gameplay trailer they showed, you get to communicate with all Meemaw. So I want to see if I can just do, like, a execute Meemaw type thing. Like, I'm going to choose the most deplorable decisions. Like, Grandma comes and brings you a sandwich. Slap that shit in her face and blow up her ship. 
Welcome aboard, Milkman. Is the claw machine functional on stream? Not yet. I mean, I can turn it on <laughs> and play it myself, but no, chat can't play it yet. That'll be a little bit. Welcome aboard Apocalypse. What we can do, though, in relation to that, though, we can start choosing some prizes to put in them. I think easy one for sure is definitely some of the expensive cards from my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Or Magic. I have an extensive Magic collection, too. I think I still also have a lot of first ed Pokemon cards. So that kind of stuff is easy. Something like a PlayStation 5 or some shit. Welcome aboard, Damien. Oh, well, thank you, Dragonfly. I'm really looking forward to Lies of P next after Starfield. Yeah, I saw a V1 win. And I did see that, com that comms contract is up. That was an unfortunate set of circumstances there. <clears throat> yeah, like signed God Slap, sl signed Plague Seeker things, easy. Could absolutely do that. Starforge PC would be a great prize. Oh, also a great idea. That's a really good idea. That's a banger. Hold on. Let me write that down as well. I've been making like a tentative list of ones. I haven't seen Unicorn Wars. It usually only takes about a week mess, so definitely make sure to send a message to support on that. Unless, of course, it's international, then sometimes it can be a little over. Can I win a Moby Huge? No, I am not shipping a Moby Huge. <laughs> no, no shot, sorry. Welcome aboard, Chris. Do you have a Vorinclex monstrous raider in the collection? It's good sixty dollar for the alt art. I'd have to I'd have to check. I'd say there's a good chance I probably do. I have not played Broforce, but I do know about it. Halo Infinite's good, what the fuck? Yeah, they've been really turning it around recently. It's two years late to the party, but I am happy to see that they're starting to turn it around. Dankin keeps trying to get me to go on it, and Twitter keeps telling me that it's much, much better. So I do plan on checking it out at some point, but there's been plenty of other games that have been coming out that's been occupying my time. You caught up with One Piece? Uh, no. I am almost through Thriller Bark. Totally up to you, Michael. The, the watching's plenty. Don't feel obligated to, to do either. Have you seen the spotless giraffe born in the Tennessee Zoo? Sounds cute. A rare spotless giraffe born in a Tennessee zoo. That shit looks fake. Nice. It's cute. You think Starfield will be like cyberpunk? Uh, I think it's... I think there's a chance that it's underwhelming compared to what everyone's been expecting, myself included. But I hope not. Just the leaks have made me very nervous. And that's super sweet. Thanks for the long time of watching then, Karina. Jesus Christ, Chris, I'm sorry to hear that. No, I don't know anything about a malpractice lawsuit, but Godspeed.
At a house near me some time ago explode, killing two kids, two adults, and two other kids in critical condition. Turns out it was illegal fireworks being made in the basement. What the fuck? What? Why are you even sharing that? That's that's awful. Jesus Christ, man. Thanks, Vase. Jesus. Welcome aboard, Dan. And Alex. How much of Dragon Ball have you seen? I've seen every episode of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT. But I never watched, or I never caught up with Super. Welcome aboard, Unwind and Sarah. Absolute nerd. I mean, welcome to 2023, baby. If you're not into nerdy shit, you're the weirdo. I was talking about I was talking about this phenomenon with Matt the other day. When we were growing up, we couldn't talk about games or anime or anything like that. Or even the internet in general wasn't like a normal thing you could talk about in school with other people or out in public. Like the only game you could talk about back then was either Call of Duty or Halo. Anything else and they're like, oh, what the fuck, this guy's such a loser. It's so weird. Now, that's like, that. that is the main talking point. You guys are super lucky. Like, if you're like, let's say you're just growing up now, you get to like, be yourself for the most part, like, your hobbies, and you will make friends from it. Back then, that shit was a secret. You took that to the grave. Womb to the tomb. You, you do not talk about anime or games back then. Because nobody cared. Starfield idea. Earth has a museum dedicated to gaming. Inside, you can play a full version of Skyrim. That does sound like a cool idea. Seinfeld titties. A Amen, brother. Find Jesus. I don't know why you're... I'm not Google. If you want Seinfeld titties, just go elsewhere. <laughs> I can't help you. Am I excited for Jujutsu Kaisen tomorrow? I'm excited for that, I'm excited for One Piece live action, and I'm excited for Starfield. You know what I'm not happy about though? How we go like five months with nothing, and then all of a sudden, in one day, everything drops at the same time. Do you know how fucking frustrating that is? Like, why not just take some of these and split them up a bit so they don't compete with each other? I understand, yeah, no, I understand. It's probably just what the marketing department deemed as the optimal release time and whatever, but... Let's factor in some obvious variables. Like, if you have to directly compete with huge properties, it's probably still better just to choose a less optimal date than go head-to-head. -head. Like, didn't work for Titanfall. Didn't work for Titanfall 2. If that game was just released at a different time, would have been an absolute staple in, in shooters. Same with Horizon. Right? Even though Horizon Zero Dawn still sold fucking amazing, Forbidden West did not. It directly competed with Elden Ring and, um... God, what else came out right before it? Can't remember. Just choose different release days. Do I like Nirvana? Yeah, I do. We just haven't been all together in a little while, Christian. Matt's got COVID, and we've had a lot of other stuff going on, so just haven't been able to make one. All right, the new Five Nights at Freddy's trailer I meant to check out. Actually, I... Hold on. Let me check something real quick. Okay, I'll watch this later. I just had to look something up. I don't I don't know if I can or not. Cause movies are different than game trailers and how they're treated. 
So I don't know. So I just asked a question. And I'll try and find an answer on Google in a bit. One Punch Season 3. Don't know. Did you see that Pink Sauce Lady actually lied about Dave's Gourmet and they actually paid her all she was due? Where'd you see that? That'd be news to me. Last update I have on the Pink Sauce Lady is fucking Kyrie Irving donated 25 grand to her GoFundMe. Yeah, I don't see anything about that lying. Did you just read that on Facebook or something? Oh, wait, you're right. Okay, hold on. I can't read this article because it keeps making me turn off my ad blocker. <laughs> but they're the only ones that have reported on it. The only ones that care enough. Ugh. We'll just Okay, we'll just do this. I'll make an exception one time, because I'm very curious what Dave, Dave's Gourmet had to say about this. It's still not, it's still not opening even though my ad blocker is off. That's amazing. What an incredible site. Welcome aboard paper. I have turned it off twice now and it is still saying it's, <laughs> why, why are you doing this? What's your favorite season of the year? Vinland Saga season two. Send a message to the to the support for it. Maybe 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 they can unbe. <laughs> Otherwise, don't know what to tell you. I can't read this article even when I turn off my ad block. Your thoughts on Attack on Titan last season? I think it's been a masterpiece, so I'm super excited for the finale. War Thunder player here, more classified documents got leaked. Oops, they did it again. War Thunder players post NATO restricted military manual for what feels like the hundredth time. War Thunder community gets so wild. What did they reveal this time? A new hydrogen bomb? What's going on here? Uh... At least this time it wasn't an argument. One player was especially keen to see the Eurofighter Typhoon added to the game and thought they'd help the developers along by posting a 730 page manual for the Eurofighter Typhoon DA DA7 on the forums, one of the jet's prototypes. It contains everything on all the systems, weaponry, flight data, etc. They cheerfully add alongside the Google Drive link. I hope this data will help the devs add this magnificent jet faster and make it as accurate as possible. Can't wait to fly it in game. In, uh, this may be a bold statement, but stick with me so I can justify it. I think out of every gaming community, the War Thunder community is the most <laughs> extreme. Like, not in terms of, like, toxicity or anything, but when they feel slighted, they go crazy. I remember we talked about this when they added, a, I think it was a tank into the game. In response, they said, the way you've added this tank is suboptimal, it's a subpar, it's unacceptable... And then in order to justify that the way they did it is trash, they dropped all of the schematics and all of the information about an actual classified document pertaining to the tank. They just revealed all of it as a way of like dunking on the devs for how they implemented it being shitty. And maybe they're, I don't know if the community's toxic, but I'm talking more about like how they go about justice, I suppose. I think it was a tank. The most recent one I think they dropped military documents on, I think, was a tank. But I could be wrong. Welcome aboard, Exco. It's still pretty badass. And now I got no recommendations for you, Painter. Maybe just download a whole show. 
Nah, Gerber meat sticks go hard. Thanks, Jack. A moderator replied within 15 minutes saying, Do not post the DA7 manuals. <laughs> hey guys, can you stop releasing military secrets on our game? It's getting us in trouble. Thank you. Welcome aboard, Soap and Trippy. As far as War Thunder leaks go, this is one of the less illegal kind. The manual is public in NATO countries, though though is export restricted for non-NATO. As the player who spotted the exchange says, they were not supposed to be readily sold or distributed as only seven pages of the manual state NATO unclassified, the rest states NATO restricted. And then there's also the whole copyright thing that goes into these manuals as well. Wow. Oh, here it is, here it is. This is what I was talking about. It really does it really does never seem to end. In 2021, we reported on an argument about a tank which resulted in the leak of classified documents. A few months after it, which almost a few months after, which it almost unbelievably happened again. Chinese anti-tank rounds, let's have a look at the documentation. Then the start of this year saw a leak concerning the F-16 Fighting Falcon, which was followed up two days later by another. God damn. Thanks, shitty. That's Giga Chad level leaks. It is. It actually is pretty fucking Giga Chad. Especially to drop it in the middle of an argument. I thought it was because they didn't implement the stats properly. One of those was the reason for the leak. Uh, maybe not the tank. No, oh, I guess I can try that, Carl. Thanks, Ahmed. Thoughts on Kim K being in the latest season of American Horror Story? The show's been trash for a while, but then again, she's pretty good in front of the camera anyways. I didn't watch the latest season of American Horror Story. That show went from fun bad to insufferably bad. That show is unwatchable now. It is so fucking embarrassing. No, that's not a fun prize. Nope, I'm not going to add that one. Hey, Jason. AH, AHS is actually insufferable past the first season. I made a whole video on that, and I stand by it. American Horror Story, like the later seasons, are some of the most enjoyably bad, fun bad television you'll find. Like, for example, American Horror Story 1984 is so lazy and shameless that they actually forgot to make an ending for it. So what they ended up doing is they built up to an ending. Like, the the episode before the finale, they were building up to, like, a big climax of everything, and then they forgot to do it. So what happened is, the finale is, everything is already finished, and they just explain what happened in what was supposed to be the finale. It's so beautifully shit. Welcome aboard, Poke. And Shotgun. It might at some point, Alex. I'm not sure when, though. Thanks, Alex. That's pretty much what they did every season. Nope, I watched pretty much all of the modern seasons of American Horror Story back-to-back. Because -back, I, I really had fun laughing at it. They really didn't. Like, they had the one with the underground bunker storyline and everything, the apocalypse. I guess that ends similarly, but still different enough where it didn't feel like they forgot an ending. Welcome aboard Skip, Zach, Effort, Kirko, and Ark. Welcome aboard. Thanks for the members. Did 
Did you like the first three? I liked the first season of American Horror Story. Unironically, I actually thought it was pretty decent. Even though that itself also has some really goofy shit, like the dad's a sex addict, and he keeps fantasizing about (laughs) the maid. So there's a scene where he's just jerking off, looking out of a window, trying to keep himself from cheating on his wife again. And that was... That whole sequence was wild. But on the whole, I actually thought season one was pretty decent. What was the second season? Was that Coven or Carnival? Thanks, Universe. I haven't heard Kesha since high school, so I I couldn't tell you. But I used to like Kesha. I'm doing alright, Grant. Yeah, I'm excited for Starfield. I hope it's good. Asylum was the second season. I don't remember Asylum, like, at all. Happy birthday, Pineapple. Thanks, Hawks. Doing alright. No, Starfield's tomorrow for premium. So I, I got premium so I can play it tomorrow. Welcome aboard, Icarus. It's the season where the bad guy likes mommy milkers. American Horror Story Season 2 is the mommy milker one? Brother, I, I really don't remember. That's not ringing any bells. That doesn't sound like memorable for this show. Yeah, I can definitely be that, Jake. I can be one of the prizes. And yeah, I'm going to moist meter the live action One Piece. <laughs> it's coming silent one one day. We're bringing it back. And nah, I'm not going to replay Skyrim, I don't think. Maybe with a bunch of mods. That could be fun. Yeah, we might bring Cowman back. Thanks, Karen. When will the claw machine be ready? Is there a limit on prizes? Nah, I'll just always make new prizes to put in there. And I don't know when it'll be ready for stream. Depends on the guy's schedule when he can get it done. You gonna moist meter the nun too? Yeah, does that come out soon? Comes out September 8th, sure. Welcome aboard, J Fine. It's Freak Show, not Carnival. Oh, I thought it was called Carnival. Do you see Space Marine 2 gameplay today? No. Let me see. Extended gameplay. I am looking forward to this one. I still need to play through the first. And yeah, it's International Alden. You can definitely do that. your favorite speedrun game? The Hobbit. How much, will the co- how much will the claw machine cost to play? Free. It's just going to be a fun mini game for channel members. Oh, so I guess if you're going to factor that in, you you know, whatever the number thing is. But it, it's unlimited plays. Oh, cost. Empress Teeth. Damocles, we are inserting into the jamming radius now. Understood. Damocles out. Oh, right. 
I forgot I had this turned up because we were listening to the Senator mumble rap. Welcome aboard, Hawks. Gyro. Sorry, I forgot. I fucking forgot. If we encounter Chaos forces, you need not concern yourself with me, Lieutenant. Disappear like that again, and you'll be facing the Master of the Watch. I understand. Welcome Sir, aboard, Arden. Why did you not tell us of your penance earlier? It was not your business. And now it is. Let me see some of the action here. I don't want any of this story spoiled. Welcome aboard, nobody. Yeah, I'm super excited to get into Warframe at some point. <laughs> I've been saying that for like three months now. It's just such a huge universe. It's like daunting to start. Matt actually texted me the other day that he's been watching a lot of 40k lore videos. So I need to get on it. Welcome aboard, Caesar. Yeah, this does look kind of Gears of War-esque. Boo, this sucks. <laughs> Brother, I didn't make the game. <laughs> what do you want from me? I am looking forward to it though, I don't think this sucks at all. I think this looks fine. Yeah, I think this looks decent. I'm looking forward to it. I heard the first one is good, so makes me a little more optimistic. Hey, Tirzu. I have not been playing Dead Man Apocalypse. I haven't hopped on RuneScape in a little bit. Did you see the ex-Australian Fortnite pro who went on to touch a 12-year-old and got sentenced to 12 months? What the fuck? Are you talking about that guy that had like the can the uh, cotton candy hair? What? I don't know what situation at all you're talking about. Hold on. I don't see anything about this. There's no time limit on it, Kermit. It, like I said, it'll be a membership thing. So as many times as people want. I don't see anything on this situation you brought up with Fortnite. Welcome aboard, Darth. This seems like something you just made up. <laughs> like, this is a seems like a real player, but I don't see any info on that. Is this just some guy you don't like, so you're just making shit up about him? Yeah, the only Fortnite streamer arrested for preying on kids is the one with the pink beard and blue hair. And that guy's name was not who you said. And he was not sentenced to 12 months. His his chart... This, this is the only guy I see for any of the Fortnite pedophiles. Welcome aboard, badass wolf. What's South of Midnight again? I've definitely heard of that before. Hey, and good luck, Kale. Godspeed. I'll play Payday 3 when it comes out, yeah. 
Yeah, we talked about this guy before. This guy got clowned on by a lot of people because the big meme going around is he looks exactly what you'd expect someone would look like if they were preying on children in Fortnite. So people were saying it's always the ones you least expect being sarcastic. This is a big story quite a while ago. Welcome to board game. Yeah, of course I know that song, Caesar. That song's class a classic. You see that Howard Stern video by the Villains Channel with him talking to a serial killer live on air? Oh yeah, everyone's seen that. That shit was crazy. Yeah, it's old. Have you heard of... No, I don't know that clown. <laughs> sorry to tell you. I'm sorry, I didn't see it gaming. If you're talking about that drunk third grade teacher or something, we talked about that a little bit. She got arrested on the first day of the school year. Is this who you're talking about? In Alabama? Actually, there's three different teachers that just got arrested in the last three days for being drunk at school. But I'm assuming it's this one because she's the one that went viral because of the body cam footage. No, the hurricane missed Tampa for the most part. Welcome aboard Wheels and Sandwich. In Lomol. That's cute. That cannot happen. I, I did drink a lot last night. How much did you drink? I don't... Too much. What what do you drink? Wine. So how many how many mm. bottles of wine did you drink? Try vodka Make coke. A Make a little homemade mixed box. drink. Mm, half a box. Yeah, we, we talked about her. I saw. Welcome aboard, Dylan. The whole thing's super sad. Yeah, it is. That is sad. And no, I have not arc. I think it's already there. Nope. I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's already listed on comics. We did talk about Mission Impossible Kermit. Did you hear about the woman that got attacked by a snake that fell from the sky and then attacked by a hawk? That is some bad luck. Woman attacked by a hawk moment after snake falls out of the sky. Wow. That's... <laughs> that is a rough roll. Is she alright? She looks okay. She seems to be in high spirits about it. I just kept saying, help me Jesus, help me Jesus. I, I would too, Peggy. Trust me. It's a scenario that dropped from the sky, doesn't happen every day, and that Beaumont Oof. woman badly Christ. hurt after a snake fell from the sky out of nowhere, latched itself onto her arm, and from there... It only got worse. Shortly after the snake fell, a hawk comes flying by. Oh, that's actually so unlucky. tries to rip the snake off, tearing up the woman's arm in the process. Eventually, that hawk was able to fly away with the snake. And while there was blood and snake venom everywhere, the woman's going to be okay. She gives a thumbs up. She says she feels very lucky to be alive. Keep up to date with all of Man, the odds of that happening have to be so unbelievably low. Welcome aboard, babe, in 97. You'd probably have better luck getting struck by lightning. Her husband heard the commotion and ran to help her. 
I was yelling and screaming. He didn't know what I was saying. I thought I was bit by a snake. Her husband took her to the hospital where she was treated for the cuts. Yeah, I don't really know what you do in that situation. I guess maybe try and, like, rip it off. But, I mean, that's just... <laughs> that's checkmate, honestly. You just gotta let nature finish what it's doing. Glad to hear she's gonna be alright, though. Good one, Ultra. And thanks for the five, I guess. Can't do that, Funkin'. We see the lady of did you see the story of the lady shooting herself at the Sox game by hiding a gun under her belly? And no, I haven't looked into the tall night shit still. Yeah, I saw the most recent One Piece live action trailer. Let's see. Chicago White Sox shooting woman shot at guaranteed rate field denies bringing a gun to the park. ATF joins the investigation. Where did you see that she was hiding a gun in her belly? I don't see anything about that here. Her lawyer is claiming that the, I see, her lawyer is claiming that it was not a self-inflicted gunshot wound from a concealed firearm discharging. But of course he's going to say that. You know what this did just remind me of? This is still being investigated, but you know what this actually reminded me of? There's this one absolute fucking idiot lawyer that killed himself because he re he brought a gun to his mom's MRI and for those that don't know an MRI uses a real strong magnet so they tell you they make sure you know don't bring any metal into the MRI and this guy for some reason just decided to keep his gun which when the MRI was flipped on got blasted into it immediately fired a bullet which hit him in the Hit him in the gut, and he died. I don't know why he'd be bringing a gun to the MRI. I guess maybe if he thought they were coming at him with, like, vaccines or something, he's going to shoot them all down. Like, get away. But, hey, luckily, <laughs> luckily, the good guy with the gun was there. I, I guess. What a situation. The hurricane missed Tampa for the most part. Thanks, Logan. Welcome aboard, Fobzy. Welcome aboard, Fluffy. They didn't tell him to put it away. He, he it was concealed carry. They didn't know he had a gun on him. So they obviously they told him, and his mother, and everyone ever that's had an MRI, don't bring anything me metal. Obviously, it's a fucking magnet. So he kept his gun, brought it in, and it ended up killing him. So I don't know if the White Sox lady brought a gun that she shot herself with or not, but this guy did. Hey, well thanks for that, Cheetah. Welcome. Hear about the man arrested driving power wheels high on meth in Indiana. Is there footage of it? That sounds hype. Indiana man arrested for impaired driving on power wheels. What's up, Io? I haven't seen them, Travis. So, I'm not sure. Welcome aboard, Henrik. An Indiana man gets arrested for driving a toy Jeep while under the influence. John McKee was arrested last night around 9 in Vincennes after he was driving a Power Wheels Jeep mm. on North 2nd Street. An ISP trooper pulled him over, stating that what he laws did he violate? Reflectors and was hard to see. 
Mickey was found under to be under the influence of meth and marijuana. He was booked into Knox County Jail and is charged with driving under the influence. No footage? Show me the show me the body cam. Why are they why are they holding this for themselves? I want to see it. Welcome. That must have been a crazy chase. Man, that's so fucked up. Unlucky. Welcome aboard, Sushi. I'm still in Thriller Bark. I hope you enjoy, Jacob. Welcome aboard, Daisy. So it's a crime to have a good time. That's what I'm saying. Man, I don't want to... What happened to being a free country? I don't want to live in a world where I can't get high on meth and drive my Power Wheels Jeep around. Uh, Damn woke mind virus ruining my meth power wheels jeep experience you hear the story of the hundreds of goats roaming through San Francisco nope you have to look his name up for the Fortnite guy okay I'll check that in a second I want to see the goats Where was it? Five million goats where? San Francisco. Or hundreds of goats, not five million goats. San Francisco. Hundreds of goats roam Bay Area neighborhood after escaping in clo- Oh my god. These hooligans. We've got security camera footage. The squad's rolling deep. Lock your doors. Don't come out. Oh man, they, ju they just robbed this place. This is what I must imagine- this is what I imagine it must have looked like when Noah was trying to get, like, animals onto the ark. Man, that just doesn't stop. Who had all of these goats? Where are they escaping from? Pepperidge Farms? God damn. They are still going. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, welcome to freedom. Enjoy the American dream, my friends. Godspeed. Damn, still going, huh? A herder and their dog came to the rescue and corralled the animals back into their pen. No shot. There's like a thousand goats here. How the fuck would he have gathered all of them? There's no way he got all of the goats back. They follow each other? Yeah, but even still, there's no way he'd get all of the goats back. Like, some of these goats came from, like, all over the place. Like, in driveways and probably going in the backyards. No way. There's definitely still some rogue goats on the loose out there. Welcome aboard, Nick. In the Bay Area, we use goats to eat away the dry grass to prevent wildfires. Oh. <laughs> oh I'm sorry if I've been pronouncing your name wrong. My bad. A very good herder dog, that's how. I mean, fucking Airbud couldn't get all of these goats back. There's too many. I mean, I've never I've never herded goats, but I mean, I've done the next best thing. I've done the tedious side quests, or the tedious quests in RuneScape where you have to herd some shit. It's a pain in the ass. 
You hear about the five million bees that fell off a truck in Burlington? No, I'll look it up though. Police call special backup after five million angry bees fall from truck. Police call for backup. Who, <laughs> who did they call? Nicholas Cage? Like, what department are you even going to here? Like, I, I don't even know how you'd find beekeepers that quickly to come during an emergency. This is a rare situation where you have to keep your distance from them, says local beekeeper. Yeah, it checks out. Yeah, I saw all that controversy, Jason. Yeah, Starfield's playable tomorrow for the premium edition. Starts at 8 p.m. EST tomorrow. Welcome aboard, Eric. I didn't know goats were so useful in large numbers like that. We're not sure... We're not sure how or what exactly took place, but at some point the boxes containing bees or beehives slid off the trailer and spilled over the road. Well, there's no way they got all five million bees back. I think we can all agree on that. It sounds bigger than it is for the most part because a colony of bees can be 80,000 bees. It kind of depends on how many colonies there are and no doubt to a non-beekeeper that would be rather intense to see regardless. It's important for people to understand that honeybees are fairly gentle and really don't bother people unless they are bothered. This is a rare situation where you have to keep your distance from them. Yeah. Bees die when they sting someone one time, right? They, they probably don't want to go starting shit. So bees all over the roadway. How do you clean them up? Well, you essentially scoop them back up and put them back into the hive. But in order to do that, you need beekeepers. Halton Regional Police put a call out to beekeepers in the area and they swarmed here en masse to help in the effort. We spoke with one of those beekeepers earlier today. Beekeepers here were already kind of packing stuff up, but we we're basically just trying to put all the equipment together. That's on cool. The trailer, making sure that we can I really respect bees beekeepers. And, uh, try to find any loose bees and, and get them. Back They're an the extremely trailer. important creature to have on the planet. Kind enough to I don't mind lend them. me this suit here because bees, there are still is. quite a few bees in the area. They say the ones that are left are actually quite angry and reluctant to go back into the hive and maybe reluctant to leave the queen behind. So they're still here doing some of that work, trying to locate those queens, trying to bring them back and put them all back into the hive. In terms of loss, they say they do end. Nice. I'm glad it has a happy ending. Happens all the time here in New Zealand with sheep and goats if you live in certain areas. Not sure about bees though. Hmm. I didn't realize a giant goat escape was so common. Thousands of bees likely died. Well, not exactly a super happy ending. Welcome aboard the guy. Search the guy who brought weapons onto a train station airport. Is that new? Man charged with bringing gun to Tampa International Airport. Not again. You're better than this, Tampa. You're so much better than this. What's your words per minute? I don't know, I'm not very good at typing tests. I can only type what's in my head, not what I'm reading. Will the live watch party live stream be on YouTube or Twitch? Probably YouTube. So I think we'll stream it here. Obviously we're doing a lot of stuff that won't be streamed, such as filming a music video with the audience. 
but like the actual watch party portion of it will also stream here. Here, I'll just go ahead and shamelessly drop the link here for anyone that wants tickets to the live event. We've got about half the tickets left. It'd be great to fill it up. I think it's going to be a really fun event. We've got a couple other cool things planned outside of just like meet and greet music video. We've got a couple other stuff going on that I'll reveal a bit closer to the date. Pin it. How? Oh. I don't know if I can do that, Caffeine. I don't think I can watch that one. Did you hear about the teen killed in front of McDonald's over sweet and sour sauce? Yeah, that's... Something I've talked about a little bit. Not this story in particular, but just the world getting so fucking crazy over such small things. This happened a couple days ago. A girl was murdered over a sweet and sour sauce dispute. And it's not like there was any bad blood beforehand. It was legitimately just a dispute over sweet and sour sauce. It's really sad. Why is the event 18 plus? Full bar, serving alcohol. And I don't, th just, I, I think that's probably just gonna be the best way of doing it, especially with the content of the watch party itself too. So 21 plus for the alcohol, 18 plus for the event made, made the most sense according to the venue. So that's how we're doing it. What was the dispute? It was over sweet and sour sauce. I don't remember exactly what it was. I think they were arguing over like sou sweet and sour sauce being bad or something. I forgot. It's just sad. Like it's not like there's any kind of context that would make dying over sweet and sour sauce any better. Thanks, Emmett. Looking forward to meeting you. The events 8th, 9th, and 10th, I believe it's about five hours each day with the longest day being Sunday, which could go longer. But it'll vary day to day. Jesus Christ, blurry. That's horrifying. Welcome aboard, Hedge. Uh, kind of Liam, but I think it'll be fun. You see the new developments on Wander Franco today? No, what happened? I haven't been keeping up. I just know the basics from a few days, or rather, last week. The DR is investigating the second complaint against Wander Franco. Another formal complaint... Here, I'll pull it up. Let's see. This is uh, another Tampa local, one of our baseball superstars who's been accused of having a relationship with like a 14-year-old. After the first complaint filed against Franco on July 17th, another girl alleged to the Specialized Prosecutor's Office for Boys, Girls, and Adolescents that she had a relationship with Franco as a minor. While the third girl has not spoken to authorities, they're still investigating her alleged relationship with Franco. Wow. God damn. That's not looking good. Welcome aboard, cheese. We do any events outside of Florida? It depends on how this one goes. If there's a lot of interest and it turns out to be a lot of fun, then yeah, we do like a live event tour kind of thing, but we'll see. Did you watch the Skibbity Toilet two-hour short horror film? <laughs> Not yet. 
I did, however, uh, well, rather, Matt did, however, have a conversation with the uh, Skibbity Toilet creator, Defuck Boom, and he seems like a really good guy. Not sure if we'll do anything together, maybe we will, but he, like, actually just seems like a really good guy. He was super sweet. Nah, I'm not a big state fair kind of guy. Welcome aboard, Trent. Hurricane pretty much missed us, so all we got was a little bit of rain. We didn't even get any wind. Welcome aboard, Smegma. You see the article claiming Goku could beat Jesus. That doesn't sound like an article. That sounds like you went on Twitter. Am I excited for the Jujutsu Kaisen Shibuya arc? Yes, I am. What kind of metal do you like? Pretty much every genre. The main genre of metal I listen to is like, usually prog, but I like almost every genre of metal. Did you see the bird bandit, a dude who robbed people at knife point with a bird on his shoulder? Have you seen this bird bandit? Please search for man with parrots in McDonald's robbery. This, this actually looks like some kind of marketing campaign for McDonald's back when they had the Hamburglar. Is this real? Is this not a marketing stunt? Searching for this man, they have dubbed the Bird Bandit. He actually looks like a One Piece character. <laughs> like, what? This character design is exquisite. Is, and that's a real parrot? Check him out with his friends there on his shoulder. Investigators are accusing the man of robbing someone with a knife. Yep, police say the same Well, that's not was very nice. In another store what a jerk. The three birds that you see right there. News for Wait, three birds? I wish you would stop graying it out when I pause it. Hold on, let me find the picture of him. It's a little blurry to tell. He got three birds on him? It's like that guy from John Wick. Oh yeah, one and then two on this shoulder. Man, and that is a mean goatee. It's coming to like a dagger's point. Wow. Welcome aboard, Dakota. And yeah, I've been on here for like two weeks-ish, average. And no, I can't add anything custom to it, Isaac, unfortunately. I already tried. Oh, that's sweet. Well, thank you, Emma. I appreciate that. Mihawk, is that you? Yeah. Jackie Benson has also, I like this right here. Anyone with, inf anyone with any information is asked to contact police. I, I think if you've ever seen this guy in your life, you probably remember him. <laughs> this is like the lowest level attempt of concealing your identity ever. He's wearing the most identifiable shirt and then three fucking live birds on him while wearing... I don't even... What kind of hat is that? It's like some kind of old swashbuckler's hat. Has the pictures and the story. As if fast food workers don't put up with enough as it is. Meet the man accused of robbing a McDonald's on Arlington Boulevard in the Seven Corners area Tuesday around 8 a.m. Police say he pulled a knife and demanded money at the counter. Police oh, he's even got a pair of sunglasses on. <clears throat> Never mind, he actually did try with the disguise. And I've got to say, I'm a little disappointed in the pants. He's got a great shirt, but... Lame-ass pants and flip-flops. His stylist just gave up halfway through the fit. 
These images from a 7-Eleven next door show the suspect with two live parrots. They appear to be macaws. Wait, they said three, though. To his cowboy so it's not one? And a third on his shoulder. Reaction from McDonald's customers who say they feel bad for the feathered participants. Honestly, that's really crazy. Like, why would you bring a pet? Don't cry with the birds. Police True. Describe the suspect agree. I agree with her. Twenties or early thirties with tattoos, a black cowboy hat, and three parrots. So well, let's not. Okay, also let's not. Let's not get rid of the theory that the birds aren't the ones controlling him, pulling the strings. Like this, this could he could be a victim in this as well. Something like that before. <laughs> it's my first time hearing that. Macaws are known for their ability to mimic human vocalization, meaning. They can talk. God, it'd be so it's cool if the birds were threatening the cashier. Any type of role in the solving I wouldn't even be problem. mad if I was the cashier. County, Jackie Benson, News 4. Imagine the birds roll up and they just start, like, saying some vile shit. Rob Lucci. <laughs> yeah. Welcome aboard, James, Derek, Hayden, and Tanner. Thanks, Ashton. You read about Hans Neiman chess update? Yes, yes, I did. I did. So you may remember the old Hans Neiman versus Magnus Carlsen versus chess.com, also pseudo versus Hikaru about cheating and the potential chess butt plug. That whole lawsuit has come to its conclusion. And it's they all reached an amicable decision together. So everyone got the ending they wanted. Everything's been settled now. So he can now go back to chess.com. He can start competing. Uh, they didn't find any evidence of a butt plug. Well, at least not one that would allow him to cheat. And Magnus says he will be more than willing to play against Hans Niemann in the future. So all, everything got the good ending, I guess. Hold on, quick text message. Give me just one second. Now back. Brindley Jordies is always welcome on the podcast, of course. The birds are just pulling his hair like ratatouille. True. Well, in your opinion, what is the best movie in the MCU, the Madagascar Cinematic Universe? Only ever seen the first one. And I'm excited for Little Nightmares 3. So why was Magnus so mad? He really believed that there was some foul play, but after all of this, he no longer believes there was any foul play. I, I mean, I think it's as simple as that. You plan to... Yeah, probably at some point, games. It, there's just not a whole lot of infomercials anymore in general that are interesting. Thanks, Yarmouth. They're adding Twitter onto car screens, have you heard? That's great news. More Twitter everywhere? Let's go. Yeehaw. Have you heard of Vince Sevenfold's new album? No, I have not. What the fuck is Twitter? I'm never calling it X. I talked about this before, I'll say it again. Even the own, its own website doesn't always refer to itself as X. If you look at a tweet embedded on any website, it says Twitter.com. So here, a, a qu very quick example on this story. If you watch any... Twitter video anywhere besides on the platform it always just says watch on Twitter 
They can't even bother to change this one simple thing to keep all the branding the same. And if you go to a link on your phone that links back to Twitter, it says X, parentheses, formerly Twitter. Nobody's calling it X. <laughs> no one should ever call it X. Yeah, the plan with the claw machine is to let channel members play it for free as a fun little mini game during streams like this. I just have to get the technology set up, so I got to get the API and get get everything sorted. We have someone that knows how to do these kind of things. It's just a matter of when he can do it. So yeah, got big plans for the claw machine. Welcome aboard, Kara. Drew John. Welcome aboard, yes sir. Do we get this stuff? Yeah, I'll just re-explain it then, I guess, if, if you guys didn't hear in the latest video. I'm gonna put, like, little notes inside of those shaker cups in the claw machine that are gonna have different prizes on them. Like, I do like the idea of, like, a Starforge PC, PlayStation 5, then simpler things like expensive Yu-Gi-Oh cards for my collection, or signed God Slap or Plague Seeker comics. And so when you do win something out of there, I'll send it to you, because... As a channel member, you can just tell us what it is, and we'll have it set up so we'll know who won what and when on what play. So it should be fun. It's just a matter of getting that set up properly so you can play it during stream. How will the turn system work with the claw machine? Each person has 15 seconds. That's the standard time limit. Free plays, you don't have to pay for it, if you remember. It's just unlimited plays, go wild. It should be pretty fun. It's going to be really hard. I'm setting it to randomized mode. I'm sure all of you know, claw machines are set for probability. So I'm just going to set it for randomized probability. You could go 30 games dry. You could go every three games someone's winning. That'll be the fun of it. It'll get wacky. Welcome aboard, Sai. And Cobra and Joke and Aiden. Welcome aboard, Josh. Have I ever been to Charlotte? I have not. Welcome aboard, Ali and GD. That's sweet. Well, thanks, Jiffy. And welcome aboard, Matt Maceo. Yeah, we talked about the Burger King lawsuit. It's also more than Burger King. Taco Bell, too. Actually, did we talk about the Burger King lawsuit with the Whopper? I don't think we did, did we? I shit on Burger King so often it's hard to keep track. But yeah, they're currently in a lawsuit over the size of their Whopper. Welcome aboard, Punk and Michael. Is it the same guy? Nope, it's a different guy. But it's the same thing, basically. False advertising, the Whopper doesn't get me laid, it's too small, it's not like the pictures, that kind of thing. So it's another class action. And it's even cited here as the other ones. So, like, I think the other ones are Taco Bell... Um, I already forgot. There's a lot. Welcome aboard, Wayne and Detriax. Yeah, he's back, Lemon. He's able to go back on chess.com now. It's been settled. Did you hear about the Texas woman who stabbed her date because she hallucinated that she was a character in a movie? Welcome aboard, Joey. That's fucking terrifying. The U.S. District Judge Roy Altman ruled that Burger King must defend against a claim that its depiction of Whoppers on in-store menu boards misled reasonable customers amounting to a breach of contract. Which is fundamentally the same claims being made against Taco Bell. The advertisements advertised far more meat than, than is actually present. God damn, a ton of members coming in. Thank you for that. Welcome aboard, Joey, Summer, Lemon, and Short King. 
Fuck yeah, thank you for that. And the Whoppers taste like wet cardboard. Yeah, the Whoppers are kind of ass. Yeah, trust me, you, you don't want more of a Whopper. They're doing you a favor by making it smaller. You don't want a Wumbo Whopper. That shit will put you in the grave. Welcome aboard, Mason and Dennis. One quick text. What does it mean if you like it? If you like the Whopper, it just means you're wrong. It means you have some kind of taste bud defect. Uh, I'm sure there's a cure. Welcome board Jester. You see the new 25th anniversary Yu-Gi-Oh! tins? Basically Starlight promos. I'll have to check it out. No, I haven't seen those yet. Why are you- wait, I always order my Whoppers plain with cheese, and the scammers either give me one piece of cheese or no cheese at all, bastards. Why are you ordering a plain Whopper <laughs> with a slice of cheese? It sounds awful. Get anything else from anywhere else. What the fuck? Man, a Whopper's bad, and that just makes it so much worse. Eat a wet shoe before that. My god, man. Welcome aboard God, Teddy, Toasty, Simon, and Colopsia. No to both of those, actually, HSB. I looked into that a lot more. Turns out it was just, it was a little misleading. You never had Whoppers from the UK. Man, fucking imagine that. Of course I've never had a Whopper from the UK. I don't live in the UK. I'm stuck with Tampa Whoppers. Welcome aboard Ronan and DJ. And Ronaldo. Favorite Yu-Gi-Oh series? Oh, the original. It's so good. It's so silly. My favorite card is Strike Ninja. Welcome aboard Mint. Seen the guy who does insane Star Wars sound effect impressions with just his mouth. Now check it out. The mouth acting of Star Wars. Is the mouth acting? Oh no, this is a voice actress. <clears throat> These are all just impressions. Welcome board blazing and goddamn Zwez. Really appreciate the fat hundred, and no, I haven't seen that. I'll look it up. I don't know how much there is to expose from the Logan Paul suicide force thing. I feel like that's been analyzed front and back. I don't know what new information they'll find. But I'll check it out later, sure. I'm on board, Miguel. It's proving that the Japan incident was fake. That's fair enough, Shoreside. I'd say just don't get a Whopper then. And yeah, I talked about that a little bit, Lemon. Ideally, there'd be a contract so I could just not have to worry about that, but for now it goes to Moist Esports. I've heard that theory that the Logan Paul suicide forest thing was actually all faked and just didn't get the response he expected. I just don't subscribe to that belief because how could you possibly be that dumb? Welcome aboard, Hayden. 
I don't know how you'd ever go through with a plan that fucking stupid. I haven't heard Travis Scott new album yet. Ooh, that's a good idea, Duval. But I, I think he's way too busy for that. It is Logan Paul. But again, like, no, not even Logan Paul is that dumb. He's not. He's dumb, make no mistake, but he's not stupid enough to fake the Japan suicide forest body. Because there's no world where that goes over well. Nobody would think it would. Nobody would. Yeah, they're okay at best, Short King. The fries aren't great. Welcome aboard, Seer. Dumb enough to post what he did initially? Yeah, I know, but again, to fake it would be an even deeper level of stupidity I don't think he's capable of. Welcome aboard, Aubrey. Yeah, that's what someone just said, Granny. I think it comes from a, a, a smaller channel somewhere. I've got it pulled up. I'll watch it later. I just don't know if I subscribe to that theory. The same guy who scammed his friends. I mean, he's a piece of shit, yeah, but like I said, to fake a, to fake the suicide video is a different level of stupidity I don't think anyone could achieve. Welcome board Chance. Have you seen the Not Real Lady interview? Yeah. And I've traveled on a plane like 10 plus times. I just hate it. I have a fear of flying. Here, hold on. People are going real in-depth on this one again because someone interviewed her and she's saying that she's got to stay tight-lipped about what she saw and doesn't regret getting off the plane. So the conspiracies are running wild. Listen, I mean, I gotta ask you, how does it feel to be traveling again? Great. You know, in the airport again a little, after what you went through? A little bit of anxiety, but... What? Uh, it's been good. Yeah. As, uh, are you doing anything different? True. Like, I'm not know, a Burger King fan. You, I agree you with that waffles. Travel or when you're, was there any any <laughs> any any new techniques you use? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. And yeah, I saw that, Nick. That was wild. Are curious. Thank you for the fifty. What exactly you saw? Because because know. you know you were, you alluded to what you saw, but like we just want to know, like you know what. Yeah. What did you see? Um, I mean, thanks for asking that, um, but I have been told I cannot comment on it right now. So that answer right there. I have been told I can't comment on it right there. Sent some people into a frenzy on Twitter about, like, she just saved the whole plane. She saw something she wasn't supposed to. The government's putting fake people on there. And uh, it's... I think she's starting to play the game a little bit. I initially thought this was just like a drunken moment of very bad, reckless decisions. And now I'm starting to believe we're all getting played for some internet clout from her. Because now she has a pretty big online presence. Her Twitter account has blown up. She's kind of capital capitalizing off it a bit. And this answer right here is the perfect statement from her to keep that going. I don't think it's lawyer speak, because if it was, she would probably be advised to try and pass it off as a moment of weakness or some kind of, like, brief psycho psychotic episode or something, as opposed to, I've been told I can't talk about it, because then she says that she doesn't regret at all leaving the plane, which continues to add fuel are, are to it. Are you going to, like, you know, have a full kind of interview somewhere, or like, what's going on, what's the deal, what's the, the plan on? going, I feel like it's going to have to happen. Yeah. Um, See, she's already planning yeah, interviews. So be, there's some things in the works, mostly non-profit charity stuff, um, but we've really been, I've been trying to like lay low for the most part, but reporters wouldn't let that happen, so. Yeah. Well, I, like I was somewhat strong-armed and just speaking. I appreciate that, uh, Thank now you. Now, here we are. Well, well, I do, I do want to know, like, I mean, 
you won't say to me what what you saw right now. Yeah. You can't All right, just got hurt. Yeah, yeah. Well, but what about like what was the reason that you wanted to get off so bad? Um, again, can't speak on that right now. But Boo. Uh, I was distressed and I was getting off the plane no matter what. I just probably didn't need to make the scene that I made. Right, um, right, right. But I was getting off that plane for sure. Right, and you stand by that like even now. One hundred percent. Yeah. So. I think she's playing the game. I think she's leaning into this whole thing. She's capitalizing off it for some internet attention and trying to monetize off of this fame she found. She is a marketing executive. I initially just thought that happened to be kind of unrelated, but I think now she's starting to use this more for a social media presence. She's planning interviews. She's giving non-answers to keep things vague and mysterious, which keeps people hooked and interested, so... Big ol' boo from me here. Thank you again, Nick. Probably titty milk, actually. That one slaps. Welcome aboard, pumpkin. I did not pay for the crane machine. They sent it to me, so I have no idea. Is she wearing the same outfit from the viral video? Yep. Yes, she is. Because now it's her brand, which is another good point. Welcome aboard, Tuco. Welcome aboard, Jose. you watch Evangelion? I tried to. I just didn't get super into it. Welcome aboard, Phoenix. She's laying low until she can get interviews. Yeah. Nah, this is all attention play now. Yep. I haven't seen the Spy vs. Spy speedrun route. She didn't see shit. She got too drunk beforehand and had a had a had a moment. Very embarrassing moment. And now she's capitalizing off it. Absolutely playing Mortal Kombat 1 when it comes out. Welcome aboard, Zachary. new police chase going on right now. I don't watch them live because I don't want anyone to get hurt and I don't want to watch anything where someone's going to get hurt. So I wait till they're done. Make sure everyone's okay. And then I'll tune in. Welcome aboard, Ham. I don't know that situation at all, Hawk. God damn, thank you again, Nick. It's just I made this handle when I was an actual child. I was like 10 years old. And I, I just never changed it. That's the only reason. Welcome aboard, Austin. And Jesus Christ, thank you, Kirko. Various insects, including invasive African bees, play a role in pollination. These bees are domesticated for honey, which could impact local insects by depleting resources. This might be obscured by major honey companies. Are you watching the stream from, like, a 30-minute delay? Because you're talking about when the 5 million bees spilled over, right? Or did that just get held in a limbo for a while? But, yeah, I don't know enough about bees. I just know how important they are. Really appreciate the generosity, though, Kirko. And yeah, I know Crosses. That was one of Chino Moreno's other projects. I didn't know they had a new album coming out, though. Welcome aboard, Chloe. And I have not heard about that. What voice actor from Dead by Daylight... If I just look that up, I don't get anything. I just keep getting articles about Nicolas Cage being in Dead by Daylight. Ooh, thank you for the five gifted members. Silent. 
Hey, appreciate it, Happy. Got tips for a first-timer to the gym. Make it a habit. This goes for anyone that wants to get into working out. Force yourself to go every day for like a week to build at least some semblance of a habit out of it. And it'll start to get very easy to go. Forming a routine or a habit out of it is extremely important to do early. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to keep going if you do it sporadically. I think that's the number one thing to try. As opposed, to, of course, to finding like the right workout regimen and the right exercises that you enjoy. Making it a habit, I think, is extremely important to do early. Appreciate that. Sorry about that, Retro. Hope your car gets fixed. I know you don't drink anymore, but did you have a favorite kind of drink? Yeah, and everyone calls me a fucking psychopath for it, and I already know chat's gonna blow up and lose their mind over it, but I swear to God, this is the gospel. Vodka Coke. It, it, it literally just tastes like a very cold Coke. And thanks, Tucker. And thank you, Chloe. Nobody besides me ever fucking drank those. No one besides me ever liked them. People called me stupid for liking them. But I promise, like, if you just try it, you will likely enjoy it. Now, I don't know shit about wasps and hornets, sh sure. All I know is I fucking hate wasps. Welcome aboard, guppy. The situation is Activision is angry that SM2 community and Plutonium was taking big players away from the current COD. So they shut it down? And I'll check into that, Wuto. Yeah, I know you got all your standards. Rum and Coke, Jack and Coke, whatever. I'm telling you, Vodka Coke was top tier. Better than all those. Let me look that up. When did they shut them down? Oh! We talked about this. Project Plutonium. I forgot that was the name of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We went over this. This was back in May. God damn it. Welcome aboard, Burger Man. And no, I don't know who that is, Mogul. See, you get it, John. <laughs> I'm sure they'll probably be there, Emmett, yeah. You could just ask the bartender. What's your favorite anime? Code Geass, but if Attack on Titan sticks to landing, I think Attack on Titan will dethrone it for me. But for now, still Code Geass. Do you think Microsoft will do Activision IP any justice? No. But they can't make it any worse either. I think it'll just stay the same. I own 10 hives. Don't be so easily swayed by pro-B propaganda because it's all bullshit. Wait, what do you mean pro B? Do you not like bees? Why do you have 10 beehives if you don't like them? What do you do? Take care of them out of spite? <laughs> what the fuck? I do have one, Floyd. There is a P.O. box. Welcome aboard, Austin. That's fair. If you don't like Coke, vodka Coke's not going to do anything for you. And so far, I'd say so, yeah, David. Been really enjoying it. Welcome aboard, Christian. Digital Saloon made a documentary on Martin Cabello. He made his own religion and has some crazy conspiracies. Recommend it. Martin Cabello's a, an absolutely wild case, yeah. And thanks, Fiction. Bees are important, man, I know, I know. What's Martin Cabello up to these days? 
Haven't heard from him in a while. The most recent thing here is what happened to Martin Cabello. <clears throat> so it doesn't seem like he's super active. Agreed, March. Nah, bees are good, sure said. They're very helpful pollinators. Hurricane missed us. All we got is a little bit of rain. It doesn't seem like Martin Cabello's in jail. What would he be in jail for? Being too... <laughs> I don't even know. What's the right word to describe him? Transcendent, perhaps? Yeah, I don't see anything about him being in jail. He's just kind of taking a break. He's working on activating his Sharingan, perhaps. There's an old show called Mr. Ed that started Talking Horse. I've seen clips from it back a long time ago on Reddit. Creepy pastas or whatever about it. Bees are not good, they're invasive, they take resources from local pollinators, Big Honey is feeding you lies. Big Honey? What the fuck do you mean Big Honey? You mean Big Zoology? Like, everyone agrees that bees are good. Here, I'll type in R bees, but what are you, like a propagandist for wasps or something? What the fuck? <laughs> like, no matter where you look, bees are extremely helpful. The only thing is, like, if they go to a place they're not supposed to be, they can destabilize nat the natural ecosystem by competing with other bees. But that just has to deal with a specific type of bee going to a non-native place. What kind of fucking anti-bee psyop is happening here? Welcome aboard, Aiden. Yeah, that's that's this article right here from Scientific America talking about, like, I guess the only downside with honeybees. And it seems like it's only when they're introduced to a spot they're not normally. I don't know why you hate bees so much, man. They, they fuck your wife or something? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, they are just a good thing. They are helpful. Have you seen the XPW Hardcore Wrestling? It's hardcore porn combined with deathmatch wrestling. What does that look like? Wait, where are you seeing porn? This has nothing to do with porn at all. Did you watch a parody? Man, I got lied to. Did you know scientists were trying to use bees to sniff out explosives? How did it work? Scientists have used all kinds of wacky things during war. You guys remember the gay bomb? There was this old idea, I think during World War II... Where the U.S. was going to create a bomb that would make everyone gay. <laughs> that was their plan. So I'm assuming this was around that time. Oh, wow. Wait, this wasn't even during World War II. This was in 1994. What do you know? 
Sounds fake. No, it was a real thing they tried to pitch, at least. They didn't actually make it. But yeah, here's a whole article about the gay bomb. The, the military's had some wacky fucking ideas, I'll tell you that. Thanks, Fiction, and no. Thanks for the gift sub. Laggy. Thanks for the gift sub, Omni. They didn't actually make it. Like I said, it was just a proposal. I am curious, though, what kind of gas were they planning on using? I remember I looked at it one time during stream, we went over it, and I already forgot. The concept of a gay bomb sounds like something out of a bad science fiction movie. A bomb that would drop a mixture of chemicals on the inner enemy and literally make them fall in love with one another to distract them from wartime duties. Actually, they also tried this with mosquitoes as well. Do you guys remember the... This isn't even... This was like only maybe a decade ago. The, the U.S. had a plan on how to, like, call the mosquito population by making them all gay. What did they call that project? I can't remember. But yeah, they've had some wacky fucking ideas. So I'm assuming the bee-sniffing explosives came from this same department that's brainstorming these fucking things. Oh, wait, there's bees right here. <laughs> what? Man, how, how deep does the bee lore go? Ooh, this one's cool. They also proposed one that would cause severe and lasting halitosis. Though it's not entirely clear what they hope to achieve by just giving their enemies bad breath. They wanted to make a stink bomb, but only for your breath. I guess maybe the logic, like, if you're stinky, your comrades won't want to work with you. Perhaps. I have no idea, sure. They never actually were they ac never actually made it. Welcome aboard, why are you short? We talked about the pigeon bomb once. And I know all about Dark Side of the Ringo Berry, but I don't know about the porn wrestling. Welcome aboard, James. That didn't come up. And I I didn't see that on Twitter earlier, Monus, if that was floating around today. Boogie bomb win. It's too late. They were coming up with these ideas in the 90s, not anymore. Their ideas are a lot different now when it comes to odd warfare. Thanks, Mike. The Pursuit was a reality TV show. What are you talking about? What does this have to do with anything? It's an Australian racing show. Welcome aboard, Sizzly. You should go and investigate Coral Castle. The fuck am I gonna do? Why would I investigate Coral Castle? Hmm. 
Yeah, apparently Gideon just got his stream taken down from watching the Logan Paul suicide forest thing. I think Logan Paul actually has that, like, put it in the system as a copyright infringement or something. Because I, I think that's like the second or third time I've heard of that happening. It sounds very familiar. Thanks the resub avocado. You hear about the World War II idea to send toxic bugs in a submarine to create a pandemic. I did not. Mm -hmm. He wasn't watching the original video. Oh, he was watching someone else cover it? Oh, he was watching the one about it being staged. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I saw a story about where... I saw a story where somebody was shot over nugget dipping sauce. Really appreciate the big drop, but that's not exactly accurate. We just talked about it. It was a teenage girl who got stabbed over sweet and sour sauce argument. Shit was tragic. Dying over a sweet and sour sauce argument. Welcome aboard, Pops. In my opinion, nothing's ever going to top the CIA pretending to be vampires to help along a coup. What? CIA vampires, U.S. meddling in the Philippines. How the CIA used vampires to fight communism in the Philippines. Oh, man. I've never heard of this. Wow. <laughs> what a strategy. Yeah, here's a whole write-up on it. I, I, I'm not familiar with this one. So apparently they tried to play off of local superstition. So in the 1950s, a CIA operative in the Philippines took advantage uh, to try and scare, to scare off communist rebels. He punctured a hole in the victim's neck with two vampire-like holes, hanging him from a tree and draining, of, draining their blood. Wow. Windagoon covered this? Did he? I haven't seen this one from him. There's an hour-long Windagoon video about this. How old is it? I'm surprised I missed it. Conspiracies are such a rabbit hole. Well, this one's not a conspiracy. This seems like it actually happened. Welcome aboard, Nick. This one seems like it was a strategy. Hello, Crelly, and welcome aboard, Watcher. You watch the new Street Fighter 6 Aki trailer? Yeah, she looks great. She looks very cool. She moves a lot like... Well, not like Voldo. I guess her attacks just kind of remind me of Voldo. She like worms herself around. Time to work, time to work. When inhaled, Corian Merton blocks the gamma amino butyric acid receptors in the central nervous system, causing spasmodic muscle contractions. Master, it's a work of art! It's perfect! What to do? Yeah, she's the newest now. character. So, shall we put him out of his misery? <laughs> I did not hear about that guitarist situation, Jesus. Time for some experimentation. That haircut? I think she looks cool. You 
know about the bat bombs? No. Supposed to be like a mantis, I guess. I mean, I guess. Either way, I think she's cool. Talk about the bat bombs? Well, I have to look them up first. It's the first time I heard of the bat bombs. You see, the lion's den got raided yesterday. <laughs> what? You ever seen the Tony Chase on YouTube? Talking about cock snatchers and a satellite man. <laughs> Wait, they're taking our cocks? Who would do that? No, I'll have to look into that one. What's it called? Welcome aboard Cody and Noah. Let me see this rabbit hole. I don't see anything about that. Haven't seen the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie yet, but everyone says it's great. Let me try Satellite Man. I didn't see anything about, like, the penis stealers. Satellite Man is a song. I don't see anything about those claims. Welcome aboard, Jack. Oh, god damn, Ty. Roblox community are sending death threats and doxing a cancer survivor over a goddamn Dominus. It happened today and still currently flooding. What is a Dominus? I'm assuming that's one of the items that's really popular on the stock market of Roblox. Where are you seeing all of this, like, harassment of the Dominus cancer survivor? Because I don't see shit here. Yeah, I don't see anything about that. Welcome aboard, Alex. Please ten seven. I don't know that one. Have fun at the zoo. Happy birthday, Gorby. It literally just happened. Where? Havana syndrome? What what is it? Oh, this has nothing to do with Roblox. I thought that was like, okay. I thought this was something some, uh, something on the Roblox topic. Search Story of Dominus Azure Light. Yeah, I've got it pulled up, Zwez. So I searched that and nothing came up. Is it on YouTube or Twitter? Oh, this Dominus Azure Light just dropped, apparently. Like, today. So this must be, like, actually fresh out of the oven. We're on the cutting edge now. Oh. The only thing that comes up here is the Dominus Azure Light is now confirmed to be a Make-A-Wish item. This means the Dominus will not be coming out. Regardless of everything revolving the Dominus, I think the story and meaning behind the Dominus is amazing. Very wholesome. Oh, this is a video. Almost six years. Oh, it's I see. It's 
So a YouTuber has it, and it's a Make-A-Wish item. I appreciate the tin name, and congrats on graduating. I can look that up later, Frank. This seems like a really wholesome thing. Where are you seeing, like, Roblox drama around it? Because I, I don't see any of that. But then again, I don't... <laughs> I don't know where you even find Roblox community discussion. Most people are, like, six years old. Uh, maybe the forums or something? It's mostly in Discord servers. Oh, okay. Welcome aboard, Sylvionic. Of course I'm going to be playing Tekken when it comes out. I love Tekken. Disappointed there's no Eddie in the new one, but it is what it is. Nope, Starfield is tomorrow. You see what happened to Mitch McConnell today? Yep, that was the first thing we talked about. Here about the nurse that killed seven babies in England. Yep. We talked about her. That's just pure evil. Did you hear about the soccer executive's mom on hunger strike? Oh, I forgot to talk about her. Hold on. That's great. Get a load of this. So the mother of Ruby, or Jesus, not Ruby, Ruby Alice, the mother of Luis Ruby Alice, the soccer federation president that planted that wet smooch on the women's soccer player who just won the World Cup. His mom is saying that she's going on a hunger strike prepared to die until her son is getting, until her son gets justice, believing that he is innocent and this is all just ridiculous. That is some strong delusion. I also don't know exactly how she thinks this is going to help. Like, okay, we'll drop the investigation. His mom's going to kill herself for this one. Okay, we'll, we'll suspend the investigation to save his mother. When likely what would happen is they'd institutionalize her for being un unfit to be in general population society thanks Arthur appreciate the 10 it's your child though sometimes you get irrational oh for sure she's absolutely one of those mothers who thinks her child can do no wrong a perfect saint everyone else is wrong her son's great I totally understand that that happens but this is still like next level irrationality Because you can literally watch her son do it. She claimed yesterday he's very worried. He's having a terrible day because he hasn't been able to speak with her and he's feeling terrible. He doesn't know what to do because for him, his mother is the most important person in the world and she's in that church. He can't communicate with her or do anything for her or with her. We just have to drop the whole thing. What if I told you there is an even more insufferable version of Andy Elliott, his wife? What do you mean? That'd be a crazy plot twist. Let's take a peek. Does she have her own scam course?
Oh my god. Wait, she does. She's the CEO of the Elliot Group. <laughs> oh my god, they're both scammers. No, 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 she runs his group. No, they're not separate. They're working together to scam. Yeah, see, this is still the same course. She doesn't have her own scam hustle. She just helps with his. This is what it links to from her page. So this is what it runs. She also makes even the same content. Does she focus on six packs as well? Well, let me take a peek. Because these titles don't give me much indication. ...to people all the time. And also, I mean, there's a good comparing and a bad comparing, but sometimes you look at the top guy, and instead of trying to learn from him, you're looking at why he's such a prick or a show-off or all the defects that this person might have because you don't want to be anything like him. But it's seriously, like, it's, it's more... What about a like six-pack? You really should be close to that person so you can try to be better. But the thing is, we try to compare ourselves to different relationships. We try to compare ourselves to... This will never work if you don't talk about six packs like your husband. What the fuck? Yeah, that'll never work. Welcome aboard, breaded. I have seen that. That was big on Reddit a while ago, Paulo. Tony Chase, one of the craziest people on the internet. That uh, someone needs to calculate the words per minute on that because I thought that there was no mistakes. That was probably the fastest I've ever typed something. There's got to be a way to calculate the words per minute on that bad boy right there. That shit went hard. My hands were working on like a different, like demon mode there. Yeah, here. This is a video someone made on Tony Chase. I'll have to watch it later because I don't know who that is. But I'm very interested if he's talking about people that are stealing cock. Oh, that, that had to be over 200 for sure. Welcome board, Smiley. Starfield, Invisible Walls. I don't want to get into spoilers, but I know what you're talking about. I'm hoping that that isn't going to be representative of the actual game. Like, the real game. Do you have any disturbing films that you would like to discuss one day? Not really. I think the only disturbing film I've ever seen that I thought did a really good job of being unnerving is called Martyrs. This movie was... Like, I, I still think about this movie. This is probably one of the more fucked up films I've seen. Here, hold on. In case you don't know what it is. Here. This movie was... This movie was a fucking wild one. When I first watched it, I didn't think it was that unnerving, I guess. But the more I think about it, like, the more I, like, reflected on it, the more I realized, like, damn. That was pretty well done. Like, that stuck with me. Welcome aboard, Otto. I'm sorry to hear that, Patrick. You'll find somebody else. Was it more of a thriller? Nope. It, it, is, it is a horror film, but not in the jump scare boo kind of way. In the very psychological and 
even body horror type of way. The ending is something. The ending is something, yeah. Can you tell Jessica that Elvis loves her? Elvis loves you. I don't know what Repo is. I can look it up, though. Welcome aboard, Alfonso. Never heard of that movie. Yeah, I do listen to death metal. And the Michael Bay TMNT movies are okay at best. Best horror is The Exorcist 1973. That is without a doubt the most influential horror movie ever made. That kind of set the table for the whole genre for the rest of time. But I don't think it's the best one in terms of quality. I actually still think it's very good. But I don't think it's like the best horror movie in like today's standards. Welcome aboard. Jason, and yeah, we I've, I've talked about the Killer Bean game a lot. I'll do it again briefly. The Killer Bean game looks really interesting. The main thing I'm concerned about is there's no dialogue, no voice acting, no nothing, which makes me feel like this might not have a story, which will inevitably end up being just kind of a Killer Bean tech demo. So I'm hoping that that's not the case. And yeah, the Gran Turismo movie was good. I enjoyed it. I do like Tool. Welcome aboard, Frisky. I just didn't like Tool's most recent album. Welcome aboard, Zero. This looks sick. The gameplay looks like a lot of fun, yeah. It's just like I said, if there's no dialogue or voice acting or story or anything that takes away a large part of what made Killer Beans so fucking good in the first place. And I don't want it to just feel like an empty tech demo. I used to listen to Three Days Grace a lot. I hate everything about you, still probably their best. And they're alright, Davey. I did not like Transformers 3. Have you seen a Serbian film? I know all about it. I've seen little bits and pieces of it. It's just shock for the sake of shock. It's literally just cheap shock value, the movie. So I don't have a favorable opinion of it. Seems just like a repulsive movie on purpose. Which is cringe. There's no real lore behind the name Penguin Z Zero. I just made it when I was 10. Like, I was 10 years old. Penguins are cool. Penguins was taken. Penguins with a Z was taken, so I just added a zero. Welcome aboard, Gath. I just never changed it. I am excited for Lies of P. That's the next game I'm super excited for. Welcome aboard, Dale. You used to work for Linda Blair, the girl from The Exorcist. Zero out of ten do not recommend. What? Isn't she like a beloved actress? <laughs> I, I don't know her personally. So I'm not going to fight her PR battles for her. But uh, sorry to hear if she's not nice. Welcome aboard, Jennifer. Lies of P is doing a collab with Wulong. That sounds cool.
Lies of P and Wulong team up for an exciting action Souls-like collaboration. The collaboration will be revealed in September. Well, I'll stay tuned. You have a public music playlist of bangers? Yeah. Uh, here. There's like 1,400 songs on this playlist and I keep adding to it every day. How do you link a playlist? Oh, here. Here's the playlist. It's mainly metal and really obscure bands for the most part. But there's a little bit of everything. Some big mainstream bands, some bands that have less than 100 views on some of their songs. It's all over the place. It's like the Library of Alexandria for like small unknown metal bands. And then also some of the classic bangers. Of course, I'll play the Cyberpunk DLC. I'll pro I will probably do a full replay of Cyberpunk before the DLC as well. And I prefer Garbanzo Beans. Which cryptid do you think has the most confirmed kills? I can just look that up. I know Goatman has one, and I don't know who else has kills. I'd say probably like Bigfoot or something with people accidentally dying while hunting him. Or killing each other thinking that they're finding Bigfoot. Surprisingly, there's no list of people that have died cryptid hunting. Io's downstairs. What movie had the biggest impact on you? The Mummy. Cannibal Corpse is alright. Decent band. Yeah, that video was all over Twitter, Lance. I saw that. Any paranormal experiences, Charlie? Nope. <laughs> I don't believe in the paranormal. I've never had a paranormal experience. The closest thing I've had to a paranormal experience was the first time I had a wet dream and I wondered who came in my pants. Past that, I haven't had anything ghostly or anything remotely paranormal. You seen the Fort Lauderdale Diving Tower? Nope. Let me take a peek. Is it cool? The new R Riverdale highest dive platform in Western Hemisphere. This seems like a cool way of accidentally killing yourself. Well, we hope you are not afraid of heights no. because we are about to take you way up. Okay, Fort Lauderdale's new aquatic center Welcome has aboard, the Bond. highest dive platform in the Western Hemisphere. Local tennis and Nella Sabovic braved it all today. She's going to show us the big dive. Oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. You're going to show us how high it is. <laughs> Calvin Nicole. Hey, do it, Sanella. I braved it. You have video Don't be a coward. of it. I take you on top Welcome of the board, main juicer. attraction here. Take a look. It is a 27 meter dive platform. He pinned the link. No, I've got our live event pinned right now. The world here to South live Florida. event September 8th through 10th. Get tickets now if you want. A lot of cool shit going on. It's an iconic site on Fort Lauderdale Beach. For decades, South Florida residents, visitors from around the world, and even Olympic gold Wait, this is not nearly as high as that picture made me believe. The pools at the Fort Lauderdale Aquatic Center. To keep the facility in tip-top shape and prep it for future Never mind, that's pretty fucking high. Renovations are currently underway and have been three years in the making. 2019, it's all new pools, um, grandstand seating, uh, administrative offices, Welcome board, Savory. Rooms. The iconic feature is the dive tower, designed to look like the hull of a ship. This is what the old one used to look like. It was Blame. 10 meters high, and now it's sky yeah, high, fuck 27 yeah. meters. Built for springboard diving. Who's going to go off the top turnbuckle here? That is, like, outrageously high. You can absolutely die from that if you're not a super experienced diver, I imagine. So they probably restrict that to only, like, professionals. Because I imagine you get some dumb asshole up there, accidentally belly flops, and explodes on the surface tension of the water. I've heard of them. I haven't listened to them very much, though, Farm. Check out the Greensboro NC B-52 accident. The plane split in half carrying a payload of two four-ton nukes. Almost destroyed the entire eastern seaboard. What? 
Greensboro NC B fifty two. The 1961 Goldsboro B-52 crash. We almost lost the entire eastern seaboard. It was carrying two three to four megaton Mark 39 nuclear bombs and it broke up midair, dropping its nuclear payload in the process. Holy shit. What the fuck? I've never heard of this. But hey, I'm glad we didn't lose the Eastern Seaboard. What's your thoughts on the song Passenger by Deftones? It's good. It's also, doesn't it also have uh, Maynard on it? I'm pretty sure it's Deftones and Maynard. It's a good song. It's not like my favorite from them, but I do like it. Welcome aboard, Mini Rob. I've only had Sonic food a couple of times. It's okay. No strong feelings on it. What do you think would happen to an object if it stood still in an area void of gravitational waves relative to the expansion of the universe? Why would you ask me that? What about me makes you think that I'm even close to educated enough to make it even a speculation on what would happen in that situation? You got me fucked up. I have no idea. I'd say it, it does this. That's all I got for you. Welcome aboard, Cryptid. Yeah, here, I'll drop the link again, Mellow. Here, this is the playlist. Nope, I just linked the Wikipedia page. Hold on. I gotta get the link again. Here. That's the playlist. You a fan of Alice in Chains? Yeah. Does time scare you? It does. Not to get too cringe, but back in college, I, I pondered the concept of time a lot. So much so that my first tattoo on my back is a clock. And so much so that the tattoo on my chest is another clock. <laughs> so yeah, time, mean, time means a lot to me. I spend a lot of time with time. Welcome aboard, Holy Grail. The only two I know on that list, Julian, are After the Burial and Nayarda's Murder. Okay, I'm gonna take a piss real quick. Give me two seconds, and I'm gonna fill up my water. I'll be right back. Welcome aboard, Brandini.
Oh, wow. Yep. I didn't realize how unbelievably hot it is in here compared to downstairs. Because hot air rises. So it's even hotter up here. And my air is still not working. Jesus Christ. And I didn't realize how swampy my ass was till I stood up. Goodness gracious. Yikes. Oh, welcome aboard, wizard. No, 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 of course it's not whammy. Have you seen the video about Starfield modding? No, I have not. Because people on TikTok don't care, Pand. They're kids. Welcome aboard, Mellow. Sorry if someone already said this, but you typed 40 keystrokes in 4 seconds at 4.5 letters per average word. That is 9.1 words in 4 seconds or 2.2 words per words per second. Multiply by 60 for approximately 137 words per minute. 137? You got me fucked up. Your math is trash. You know what you're talking about. Welcome aboard, nut. Sub 200 words per minute? No, no shot. No shot. I don't get out of bed for anything less than 200 words per minute. Oh man, Jesus Christ. It is so fucking hot. Hey Blake, hope you're well. Do a typing test. I can't fucking do typing tests. Oh, here, fine. We'll do type racer. I can only type what, what's in my head. I can't look and type super fast, but fine. We'll try. Every time I do this, it's always an absolute fucking embarrassment though, and it makes me ashamed. Because I know I'm better than this. I know I'm better than this. Oh, God. See? Now I'm choking. I'm in my head. Ugh. Oh my god. Trash. Yikes. Luckily I'm playing against octogenarians. 66 words per minute. I can't do it. When I have to read and type, everything falls apart. My, my, bra my brain neurons aren't connecting with my hand neurons when I need them to. I can only type when it's up in my noodle. It missed us in Tampa name, but I hope your girlfriend is alright. Hopefully she didn't get too bad of a storm or anything. Alright, run it back. I'm going to try and just go off memory. Oh my god. A little bit better, 81, a little bit better. Okay, okay, now we're getting somewhere. You just gotta give me a, gotta give me a little time to, to grease the old gears. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. Welcome aboard, big nut. After my picture fades, turn this turn to burning light. Oh my god.
86. Yikes. Damn it. I'm better than this. I'm capable of so much more. Welcome aboard, Brune. Oh, God. Oh, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Chalk this one up. It's already over. That's way too much to try and remember. So I'm going to have to look and type, and it's, it's not going to go well. Up. 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 Yep. That was the worst one yet. The reading and typing at the same time, it's just, it's, I can't make it, I can't make it work. I'm falling apart. I'm better than this. Ninety-two. Okay, the shorter one there, I was able to memorize a lot of it, so I didn't actually have to read it. Whatever. I'm two hundred words per minute when I'm going off, going off of what's in my brain. Welcome aboard, Galaxy. Uh, I don't know. It's just some Corsair I got from Walmart. It's not a very good keyboard. It's just like a really cheap one. If you had to predict game of the year, what do you go with? Right now, it'd probably be Baldur's Gate 3. No, not true, Castile. That didn't happen. You're misremembering. Oh, sweet. Well, thanks, name. Hope you're doing well. The punctuation's killing you. No, it's the, it's the reading and typing at the same time that's doing me in. The punctuation's usually fine. Would you or Matt win arm wrestling? Matt. <laughs> Obviously, it would be Matt. 100%. Baldur's Gate over Tears of the Kingdom? Yeah, I think Baldur's Gate would win, under, win over Tears of the Kingdom. Baldur's Gate is legitimately like an, a masterpiece, and there's not a whole lot like it. Tears of the Kingdom is also a masterpiece, but it is just an improved Breath of the Wild for the most part. So I think that's going to weigh more heavily in Baldur's Gate's favor. But it'll be close. I think it'll be very, very close. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah, the hurricane missed us, so it's all good here. Just a little bit of rain. No, I didn't hear about that, Merc, but that sounds awful. And I don't remember Jeepers Creepers 2. But Godzilla 1998, I remember liking quite a bit. Any news on Andrew Tate? Uh, I have no idea. Nothing I've seen.
You ever see our Thai video we did? Yeah, I did. It was great. Favorite anime is Code Geass. Unless Attack on Titan sticks the landing, then it'll be Attack on Titan. Damn, I'm really sorry to hear that, gaming. I don't have any great encouraging words, but Godspeed. You can do it, champ. It'll get it'll get easier. Use the website key. It'll be more accurate than your to your actual speed. Eh, it's fine. Yeah, I played Pokemon Scarlet Violet. If you had to fight a gorilla or a grizzly bear, which would you rather fight? Can't run away. Um... I like my odds a bit more against the bear, even though I know it's the more deadly. Like, I feel like I can win the bear over. We can find a more peaceful solution. They seem kind of goofy sometimes. Like, for example, this bear that just breaks into houses for fun. Uh, I think, what was it? Frank, the, not Frank the Tank. Hank the Tank. Like, I definitely think there's a way that I can reach a peaceful resolution with a bear that I don't think I'd be able to with a gorilla. I have, Tyler, and yeah, I've heard the same thing. Welcome aboard, French Toast. I don't have any siblings. You hear about the PlayStation Plus price hike? Oh, huge L. Yeah. It's like a 33% increase. Oh, it's, it's rough. And they're not even adding anything new to it, right? It's just a straight-up increase for the same exact service? I didn't look into it. But from what everyone was saying, they didn't even improve it. The service's annual essential plan will go from 60 to 80, the extra plan from 100 to 135, and premium plan from 120 to 160, starting on September 6th. If you're good, oh man, if you're currently subscribed to PlayStation Plus, Sony says the price increase won't take effect until your next renewal date or after November 6th. However, if you make changes to your subs subscription, such as upgrades, downgrades, or buying additional time, you'll have to pay the new rate. So it's just it's just the same service with nothing improving. Just increasing money. Welcome aboard, monster. That's so greedy. And nah, I'm not gonna play the new Kingdom Hearts when it comes out. I'll play Kingdom Hearts 4, but not Missing Link. What game have you played that has the most wasted potential? I'd have to really, really think about that. There's a lot. And thanks, Army. Welcome aboard, Alex. And thanks again, Army. Having a good night. Hope you're having a decent night as well. I highly doubt you know who Israel Adesanya and, and Sean Strickland are, but based on their names, who do you think would win in a devastating fashion? Man, you must really think I'm some kind of dork. I, I, I know who both of them are. <laughs> I don't know why people think I'm such a loser. <laughs> I know things. I, I know sports. Ooh, Destiny 2 is a great answer to the game with the most wasted potential. Yeah, for sure. Destiny 2 is the right answer. What's your personal game of the year so far? Mine is still probably Tears of the Kingdom, but that's only because I haven't finished Baldur's Gate 3 yet. You seen the video of the drunk teacher at work? Yeah, we talked about her earlier as well. I'm 
You know about the bear who was a soldier? Yep, he was a Polish soldier, right? They even gave him a promotion and everything. I know all. I know that whole story. His name's like Wojciech, Wat Jack or something. Let me see. Wojtek. Definitely not how you say it, but I'll tell you that's how I say it, just based on the name. Actually, one of the cutest goddamn stories there is. He's there's even a picture of him in like a a mortar pit, helping with the mortar squad or the artillery squad. Welcome aboard, creepy. Hey, happy birthday, Gabriel. You got this, champ. Yeah, I hope you had a good birthday. What the fuck? No, I did play basketball in high school. I did, and still do. My knees aren't like they once were, but I do still actively play every week. And I only ever dabbled in Wizard 101. Do you think Tears of the Kingdom was held back by the Switch? Yes, and I said that in my moist meter too. The worst thing about Tears of the Kingdom is that it's on the Switch. And yeah, I just saw the spotless giraffe. Could you ever dunk it all? Motherfucker, I am five foot six. What do you think? Now, no one believes me when I say this, and I don't blame them for not believing me, but I could touch rim. I used to be able to jump extremely high. Ask anyone on the old basketball squad, I had the highest vertical leap on the entire team. And now I can't jump for shit. Welcome aboard, Luffy. And Blar. Thanks, Jack. I'm no, I'm still I'm trying to work on getting my vertical back. I've been I've been thinking about getting into like plyos and everything again, so I can at least get close. I, I don't need to be touching rim anymore, but at least getting close to that would be nice. I don't know, Panda. I'd have to really think about it. The Citadel's from Mass Effect, though. I'd sooner believe Elon was probing our toilet paper with each wipe than you having the highest vertical on a team. I've got to find my old high school basketball footage. I'm so tired of all of this. <laughs> well, I, I don't... I don't I don't blame you, but it is still very upsetting to hear all the naysayers. I need to somehow find some old high school basketball footage. What's your three-pointer percentage? No idea. But it's pretty good for the most part. Thanks, Lance. What is that? What, what would I be looking up? An Armored Core 6 is great so far. Never played football. I did one semester of football. And then stopped. How hype are you for Starfield? I'm excited. Cautiously optimistic. The leaks made me very nervous from what I saw in the leaks, but overall I'm going to try and maintain a positive attitude about it being good, and hopefully it won't disappoint me.
Is Armored Core 6 playable with keyboard and mouse? That's what I've been playing it on. And it's been fine. Well, thank you, Jordan. Do you know about the three missing U.S. nukes that have never been found? I've heard of them. I've never really looked into it, though. Any advice on how to build muscle quickly? Immediately get rid of the idea that you'll build muscle quickly. Unless you're on some like serious shit, it's going to be a slow process, especially if you're just starting. But you'll see some really quick, like noticeable changes if you're just starting the beginner gains. You seen Gaither's Pond? I made a whole video on Gaither's Pond like 10 years ago. This shit's great. And by great, I mean it's fucking awful. Welcome aboard, Aaron. What did I call this video? I don't remember. It was around the same time I did Joshua in the Promised Land. Welcome aboard, regular channel. You see that the pink sauce lady got caught lying about the Dave sauce contract. Pyro made a video on it and she was actually paid 120 k by Dave. Someone said that earlier, but I couldn't find any sources on the the Dave's gourmet disputing it. I'll, I'll have to watch Pyro's video. Like I said, the most recent thing I know about the pink sauce lady is fucking Kyrie Irving donated 24 k to her GoFundMe. Which is so stupid. It's so fucking stupid. It actually just infuriates me how dumb Kyrie is. 24 to 40 from Kyrie. I used to love Hearthstone, but I haven't played in a very long time. And thank you for that, Jelani. I have not played Killer Frequency. Yeah, it's a it, it's a bunch of baloney. <laughs> this whole GoFundMe from her is ridiculous, but it was good enough for Kyrie, I guess. That's that's sweet. Thank you for that, Ryu Mura. Sorry if I fucked your name up. Yeah, looking forward to meeting you at the live event. Welcome aboard, Pog. Have you heard about the Arc 2 drama? Servers hosted by Natrado only instead of better hosts like 1G server hosts and GTX Gaming. No, I haven't seen anything about the Arc 2 drama other than all of the awful decisions they make around the current Arc. Thanks, Nathan. I don't know if I'll do a follow up, but maybe. And the hurricane basically missed us, Ash. It was just a little light rain. Why the fuck does she need 100k? Because she's a liar. <laughs> she's just a bad person. I don't know what to tell you. Of all the weird, goofy-ass people you've covered, which one is on your mind the most? That's a good question. This isn't one single person, but I've talked about this a lot. There's one single thing I've covered. Well, rather, I learned about and covered from Oki. Oki's Weird Stories. It's the secret space program conspiracy. It's basically just the 
amalgamation of every conspiracy ever rolled into one. I think about that one a lot. Do you hire writers or similar people for your comics and stuff? Or are they mostly passion projects? They're passion projects, but we do have uh, a writer that helps us write Godslap. So it's four of us, me, Jackson, Danny, and Matt for Godslap. We create the story beats, write out a lot of it, and then the writer refines it for the, the artist and to make sure everything works on the page. And then Plague Seeker is just me and Jackson. So Aubrey Sitterson is the one that helps with Godslap, and then Plague Seekers, just me and Jackson. Do you hire artists? Yeah, man, you think I can fucking draw like this? <laughs> Are you crazy? Yeah, no shot. Yeah, we hire artists. I can't draw like this. So Godslap is from Ricardo Jamie. And Plague Seeker is from Vampire Trinnell. So they're two very different styles. Go full screen. What? Could you not see it? Here. So that's the Ricardo Jamie God Slap art style. And then Plague Seeker is this one. Oh, shit. So they're very, very different. I don't I don't do the art. Oh yeah, they're both extremely talented artists. Yeah, they're fucking incredible. This this page in particular, I actually think about a lot from Plague Seeker, from issue zero. I really like the way he does this great plague here. The one with the oh, you really can't see it, and it's not full screen. You're right. Like the way he does the action, the paneling, and the actual like great plague, I think is just really fucking cool. And God slap everything Ricardo does there is amazing. So they both work extremely well. And they're both very different, so it's not just the same thing multiple times. Yeah, I'm super proud of the whole team for these, man. My pride and joy kind of shit. What inspired Plague Seeker? Berserk. Got really in Berserk. Do you have digital art? Me? No. I was a digital art major, but I was dog shit. You ship internationally? Yep. Takes a little bit longer to get there, and the shipping prices on international are a little ridiculous. So I'd say if you really want to read it, there's a digital option for you. But if you want the physical, yeah, they do ship internationally. Is it okay to make fan animations? <laughs> yeah, of course. Be great. Open board Ryan and Crayon. You see the golfer beat the goose to death on the golf course. Jesus Christ. No. 
What a piece of shit, though. Will it always be possible to buy the physical copies of Plague Seeker and Godslap? Yeah, the only thing that's limited is, like, the variant covers. So, like, Plague Seeker, this one will always exist, and then these two are limited. I think this one is out of stock now, I'm not positive, but this other variant is still there. And it works the same for Godslap, but yeah, they'll, the base cover will always be available. I hope you enjoy Baldur's Gate, Seahorse. That's super sweet. Well, thanks, name. And don't know about <laughs> an art event, man. I am not an artist. I don't do the art. You see about the kids who did $10 million property damage by burning down a building. What a prank. Fire causes two million da two million dollars in damage at Potomac home. Two adults and three children displaced. Was it on purpose? Doesn't say. That's rough, though. Who will you use first in Mortal Kombat 1? I'm not sure. Everyone looks really cool in Mortal Kombat 1. Wow, I really appreciate that aspect. I hope you enjoy them. Who's the artist for Plague Seekers? Name's Vampire Trinnell. Is there anything you really want to talk about that nobody has asked about yet? Not really. I don't think there's anything too crazy that no one's brought up and thanks for a long time of watching crayon will the comics ever be sold at physical retail stores they already are they're not in every single comic retailer but they're in quite a few now Starfield ass or gas? Like I said, man, everything they showed from the gameplay preview looked gas. Everything that came out in the leak, ass. So we don't really know where we'll where we'll land on that spectrum. Could be anywhere. Oh, that's sweet. Well, thanks, Lemon. I do love JRPGs. There just hasn't been a ton recently that I've wanted to stream. Oh, just email the team, Hitman. That, that should be super easy to fix. And thanks, Organic. Hey, Lexi. Do you like Persona? Yeah, I do like Persona. You watching the police chase after it's finished? Jesus Christ, is it still going on right now? It's, it's been like two hours. Let me see. Which one? There's two happening, or two that happened, actually. Is it the one that ends with guns drawn? Spoilers. 
Thanks again, Crayon. No, I don't know Sea of Stars. Thanks again, Crayon. Goddamn. I'm assuming it's this one. You ever played Hitman? Mm-hmm. Great series. Are you gonna stream at the same time for Starfield tomorrow? Uh, it'll be a little bit later because of basketball. We usually play basketball till about nine, nine thirty. So I'll stream around ten, ten thirty EST. The game doesn't come out till eight EST anyway, so it's not like I'm gonna be super late to it. I don't see what police chase you're talking about. I'm I'm guessing it's this one, but the chase like is already chase. over. So I don't know what you're talking about. Am I going to check it out after it's finished? It's already done. And the only thing left of it is just this standoff. What's your favorite basketball team? The Miami Heat. I've been a Heat fan for quite a while. Way before the big three came to town. Yeah, I'm just going to assume you're wrong about this. Police chase still going on. You like Naruto? Yeah, Naruto is good. I enjoyed it. When are you guys playing Sea of Thieves? I'm not sure. That's really up to the up to the squad. Do I play Overwatch? No, I did. I actually really liked Overwatch 2 when it dropped as well. And then they ran it into the ground. I think it is still the lowest rated game on Steam. Let me double check. Yep, still a 91% negative rating. Because it's trash. I mean, it's it's they ruined it. They absolutely did ruin it. Do I know about the kissing statues of Southeast Texas? Now what's special about them? The kissing statue. The ghost story. Ooh, I like a good ghost story. <clears throat> the kissing statue is a statue in Forest Lawn Cemetery in Texas with an interesting legend. It's said if you visit around midnight and drive around the statue to the back to shine your brights on it, two, level two lovers will turn towards each other and will kiss. That's a wholesome ghost story. Well, I'm not in Texas, so I can't I can't try it. I can't put the claim to the test. But how cute. I'm sorry to hear that, Pabini. I'm wishing you the best. That's awful. Did you know milk expiration dates depend on how old the cow is when it was milk? Didn't know that. Very interesting fun fact, though. Yeah, Thousand Year Blood War's been good for Bleach. I've been enjoying it. And, you know, just talked about the Judy on Logan Paul thing. I just haven't looked into the Tall Knight thing at all, legitimately, at all. I just know the very basic accusations. So I just don't know shit about it. F 
favorite game to replay? Like single player game? I don't know. Maybe Psychonauts? Probably Psychonauts. Whew. Hey, Lie. Hope you're well. Would you play Star Citizen tonight for a comparison to Starfield? Fuck no. I watched Lyric play it earlier, though. I feel so bad for everyone who put money into this. This is ne this is actually never coming out. Like, legitimately, this is never coming out. It's not even close to ready. Welcome aboard, Kelly. Star Shitizen. <laughs> that was so fucking lame. I liked it though. Cute. Thanks, Dwayne. What is Star Citizen? What do you mean, what is Star Citizen? There's no way you don't know. This game was the crowdfunded, like, internet darling. Raised over half a billion dollars and... and more than that, actually. Hold on. Let me see what it finished with. From crowdfunding. And it's just... It's not even remotely ready for release a decade later. And not only that, there's still so many fucking microtransactions in the game, as I understand it. Like, the ships can cost IRL money. And it, a lot, actually. So 600 million and still getting nickel and dimed in a game that's not even close to, like, fucking alpha ready. Ugh. Don't they keep promising new things without delivering? Yeah, there's a whole host of problems. It, it, it is legitimately a game I am confident will never fully release. I think what they'll do is eventually within the next five or so years, they'll make a big hoopla like, Star Citizen, it's time! And it's going to be just early access. Or not early access. Uh, they're going to call it a beta or something. It's like, we've finally done it. Beta. Welcome aboard, Carson. And thanks, Edgy. Are you a fan of Bad Omens? Yep. Favorite song from Bad Omens? Uh, probably Glass Houses. You're streaming Alan Wake, right? Yes, I will be streaming Alan Wake. Maybe, Travis. I did enjoy corrupting games, though. That is always fun. Welcome aboard, Violet. Hey, glad you like Perfect Oblivion. Hope it treated you well on guitar. The Gentlemen. We've got a new album coming out in about a month or two. We're filming one of the music videos at the live event in September. So September 8th, 9th, and 10th, we're going to be filming one of our music videos with the audience. So if you want to go, tickets are still available. It's pinned in the chat there. Welcome aboard, SDF. And hey, Lunar. I'm not sure, John. Like I said... Like, I, I like them, but I'm not the biggest fan. They're alright. Have you seen comedian Colin Shoemaker has a series catching pedophiles and then playing a quiz game with them? If they lose, he calls the cops. 
Is he the TikToker? I think he is, right? Because I have seen one of those outside of a grocery store or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the guy that goes up to pedophiles and gives them the little yeah. impromptu uh, you game You do show. have the option to phone a friend. If you want to call somebody who may know the answer to this question, you'd like to explain the entire situation to them. What you're yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that. Welcome aboard Cat Piss and Travis and Hyper. It is One Piece live action out yet? It comes out in an hour and 15 minutes. It comes out at 3 a.m. EST. You a fan of Deftones? Yep. Probably my favorite band. I don't know what PED Patrol is. Of course I'll be playing the new Spider-Man game. You just farted. No, that was actually my swamp ass moving around. My air conditioning is broke. It is 80... Let me see. It's 80 something in my room right now. I'm, I am getting so swampy. But there's nothing I can do about it. So you just heard my cheeks grease against each other. It's, it's 80. Hey, happy early birthday, Mike. And I like Wawa. I think Wawa is great. We just got those down here within the last like 15 years. And I, and I like them. Thoughts on The Last of Us Season 2. I hope it's good. I like the first season of The Last of Us. I hope they don't fumble. And yeah, Gideon. Oh, man. It is so fucking hot. I haven't seen the new Five Nights, movie, Five Nights at Freddy's movie trailer yet. Which will be better, Starfield or Spider-Man 2? Starfield has more potential, but I think Spider-Man 2 is a safer bet. If it's one or the other for you, I'd say probably Spider-Man 2 is the safer bet. Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2 has been great so far. I've not seen the Ninja Turtles movie yet. Have you heard of Primus? <laughs> yeah. I know Primus. Thanks, Seahorse. Okay, I'm getting tired, and I can only take so much more of this heat. I think we'll call it a night. Alright, we've got Starfield tomorrow. I'll probably start streaming around like 10 p.m. EST-ish. Maybe a little bit after, depending on how late basketball goes. So, big night tomorrow. Hopefully Starfield lives up to the hype. I'm, I'm really going to give it a fair shakedown, and we'll see how she goes. Thanks for that, Jay. Have a great night, everyone. Really appreciate the generosity, and I will see you all tomorrow. Take it easy. Thanks again.